Okay, um, this is, first of all, Happy New Year, um, and secondly, this is going to be a really weird stream. So, I'm, I'm not too sure how to, um, how to preface this stream, uh, to put it simply, because... The well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to skip to what you call it. Skill... Actually, I'll leave it on normal difficulty and then I'll skip to the actual start of the game. Because I'm not going to sit through all the long, boring shit. Um, okay. So I'm going to pause that there. So, okay. Sometimes people who have no idea about Half-Life ask me if they should play Half-Life 1, which is the gold source version, which is the one that I have open here. And sometimes they ask me... That's so loud. Let me turn that down. Uh, sometimes they ask me if they should play Half-Life Source, which is this version right here and it it's stupidly loud because we got one of the worst title screens give me a second what how many backgrounds are there well there's that background there's that background which is really quiet as well there's a background from half-life 2 which probably shouldn't be there another half-life from background 2 which also probably shouldn't be there another one from half-life 2 which probably shouldn't be there this one, which is the one that's really loud, it takes a second there before it gets really loud. Because this guy runs in and then starts shooting and then it just... he never dies and it... Uh, and then... oh, is that last one? So we skip from 7 to 12, okay. And then that one's also pretty quiet, I think. I think there'd be a helicopter that flies by, but... For the most part, that one's pretty, pretty quiet. So, same as in Half-Life 1, I'm going to pause it there. That's actually a different starting location, but... And then I'm going to cut back across to Half-Life 1. So, an easy little way of telling which one I'm currently on, because this is going to get really confusing. Um, my settings for Half-Life 1 right now, as you can tell, reduce the quality of everything. So the textures are really pixelated, whereas in Half-Life Source everything's really shiny and blurry and smeary. So... Uh, oh crap, I didn't actually show that. So there you go, everything's really shiny and blurry and smeary. So that's the difference. Also the lighting's different, you might be able to tell that. Overall, I still think Half-Life 1 visually looks better, even though Half-Life Source does have some improvements like reflections, but... Because of how like everything in Half-Life 1, in the Gold Source version, not in Half-Life Source, uses the same, uh, what do you call it, the same sort of, the same bad graphics is the easiest way of putting it. Everything looks more consistent overall as opposed to being partly bad with some actually okay looking stuff. So yeah, overall, visually, I would still say that Half-Life 1 actually looks better. Also, actually, there's some visuals that were destroyed in Half-Life Source for some reason. We'll get to those when we get to them, but... So yeah, so the idea behind this is that... Some people... And I'm not saying that any, if you like Half-Life Source more, you're wrong, because... Some people will just prefer that, even though I personally don't. Probably because it's definitely a bad part, but... You're not wrong for liking Half-Life Source. Just gonna say that now. If anybody does like Half-Life Source, you're not wrong for liking it. But this is just like a comparison and my sort of breakdown as to why Half-Life Source is bad. While also playing through both games simultaneously. So this is why this is gonna be confusing, because I'm gonna play through both of them at the same time. Okay. Are we clear on that? This is a simultaneous playthrough of Half-Life 1 and Half-Life Source. 
Simultaneous. Let's get started then. So... Ugh, let me just make sure that's right, okay. So the first fairly obvious thing is the text there um, was different, because in this one it uses the Half-Life 2 text. And also... That's quieter, is my volume different? Volume not point one. hold on. Volume... So Half-Life Source is quieter, which is interesting, actually. I didn't actually know that. Because that's how loud that one is, and then... That's also a different sound effect. Ooh, we're learning stuff! <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna play through bits and pieces of each, and then I'm gonna swap between them. So... Jesus Christ, that's so much louder! But yeah, so straight off the bat, actually, something else that's worth noting is the movement is actually different. Um, that's me moving left and right in Half-Life 1. And then... Uh, that's me moving left and right in Half-Life Source. It's very subtle, but the movement is slightly different. Also, the jumping is actually slightly different as well, which is worth noting because... Even though it doesn't seem that different... Um, it actually does like completely, uh, there we go, completely break certain parts of the game. <laughs> so, with all that out of the way, this is going to be a complete mess to try and watch and also to try and talk over, so I'm just going to see how this goes, but... This is all within theoretical limits. So that's the first sort of part of the game. This is just like a really slow part as well. I should have probably skipped this as well actually, but this is probably pretty different as well, if I had to guess. So uh, we'll take a look. We'll take a look how different this is. Go right on through, sir. So while I'm waiting for that guy to do that, I'm gonna skip over to this one <laughs> and see how... I mean it's definitely... I don't know why, but Half-Life Stars for some reason is running smoother. I, I actually don't know why. Loading screen is taking way longer as well. Uh, so overall it's way quieter for some reason. That's kind of weird. I'm not sure why it's quieter, but kind of just is. <laughs> Again, the weird lighting, the weird reflections, it just it looks out of place. I really don't like the way this looks. So, okay. That's that. I'm gonna try this. Which Freeman should I get up inside of? Uh, not the Half-Life Source Freeman. Because Half-Life Source Freeman is really bad. Also, this is way louder, holy crap. Like, I knew that this was way louder, but it's, like, it's way louder. I have to have the volume in this one way lower for some reason. Uh, wait, where's the loading screen? There we go. I'm gonna do that and then carry on with this one. Wait, did you not? Huh? I'm gonna turn up the volume on this one. So the volumes have to be different, which is weird because they're technically the same game, but... Did I miss the door in- does this door not reopen in this version? That's weird if that's the case because that door should reopen once it's been opened once but I guess it doesn't for some reason? Yeah, bunny hopping in this is kind of difficult actually, I'm not going to keep trying it. So hold on. What? Uh, that might actually... I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Um, wait. Wait, what are you... Okay, hold on. Why are you not... Can we do this later? Access denied. Uh, 
So apparently Half-Life Source is so broken now that it doesn't even let you get past this door, so that's um... I can't say it, there we go. We'll just pretend that didn't happen. I'll keep SV sheets on as well, just in case it breaks again, because it probably will. Uh, let's try this. I screwed that up. So, okay, I'm, I'm either doing that badly or no, the, the air movement is definitely a bit different in this one as well. Hello there. Actually, it's my sensitivity. Not set up right. I was going to say, because my sensitivity feels a little bit different, but it might not. Okay, so back to here. <laughs> Finally back to here. So this... This is way greener, actually. That's kind of weird. Okay. Come on. Let me through. Let me through, please. Let me through, please. Come on. I don't, I don't think this is going to work in Half-Life Source so if I try this. Um, did I just block the door of this guy? Uh oh. Well, that was my own fault, but, um... There's the first knuckle of Half-Life 1, so... <laughs> that was entirely my own fault, though, for getting him stuck in the door. Whoops. I don't think that's gonna work in Sauce, though, to try and, like, skip that door, but whatever. That's not something people will notice in, like, the actual game, though, so... Uh, right. Let's go back over to Half-Life Source. First of all, that guy's floating. And, uh... Yeah, I just have to wait for this. So this is, um, actually a huge problem. That's still way too loud. Uh... Yeah, so this is actually a huge problem with Half-Life Source that happens all over the game for some reason. Just things are floating above where they should be. I don't know why, but... Do you want to work a little bit? Thank you. But yeah, like there's all kinds of stuff that does that in Half-Life Source, so we'll probably see that more later on. But Actually, we could have seen it earlier on at... Um, in the sort of first area that I just kind of jumped past, but... I'm gonna hope that if I just let this part play out, it'll actually play out and won't bug out again, so... Okay. Let's go do the, <laughs> Let's go do the Resonance Cascade while we're waiting for that door to open in Source, and then we'll actually get to the part of the game which is interesting, so... Uh, actually, something really interesting which I should probably point out here, um that was fixed in the Source engine overall, is that you can interact with buttons through walls in Half-Life 1. Which is kind of weird, but walls basically don't exist. Um, and that's kind of weird, but it it is actually kind of useful in a few places. Like, without even realising it, it's possible to accidentally abuse it in um, questionable ethics later on. Because uh, there's a door which... It, uh, there's a door which is normally locked and you have to complete the whole chapter to open the door, but the um, the button that unlocks the door is right on the other side of the door, so if you just walk up to the door and press use without realising it, you'll just open the door. It's kind of stupid, but... Uh, actually, that door will be open now. Uh, yeah, okay. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just going to keep skipping between the two while, like, while we're waiting things in one of them, uh, and just sort of see what happens. Okay, never mind. Testing. Testing. So we get to watch this great cutscene twice. Although again, I feel as though this one looks way better visually than this one, because like, the lighting just looks better. I don't... Mm. Even though like the lighting in this one is supposed to be worse. Is that, is that coming up yet? No. 
Come on. There we go. Uh, let's go down to sort of like the same place and watch. Okay, well that's finally coming up, so... I want to see like if the lighting actually does change when the beam starts or if it'll just keep looking bad. Yeah, that still looks really bad. There wasn't even like a sound when it started, was there? No, because I swear in Half-Life 1 there was actually a sound when that started up. Also in Half-Life 1 you can just slide things all over the place like that. It's kind of stupid, actually. Hmm. Okay, that's... <laughs> that's almost definitely going to be in Source as well, right? No? Okay, that's interesting. I don't actually know, what, I don't actually know why that happens then. It's just a random gap in the wall. I've never actually seen that before. It's the first time I've noticed that. Might be because of the console commands that I'm using there. Probably doesn't actually show up in normal gameplay. Well, no, it's well within acceptable bounds again. So over in Half-Life 1 the game is like everything's currently going wrong. Half-Life Source still has a few minutes to go. It should be coming up to you any moment now. Look to the delivery system okay. for Question is, how weird is the pushing of this gonna be? Uh really slow and bad. Okay, great. Well, in the time that took, Half-Life 1 has finished, so that's great. There's actually a bug that you can do here, um, although yeah, oh, I can't do it here, but I could have done it in the last, uh, the end of the last chapter. If I'd pulled out the thing and then sort of just left it right around there, then a Vortigaun can fall down and land on it and then not despawn, and then it'll, he'll just be floating at the start of this chapter, but you can't do that in Source either because you can't pull the thing out. I mean, it makes sense with patch glitches, but I feel as though that was a very unintentional. I just crushed myself. Uh, I feel as though that was a very like unintentional uh, patch, just because of like the way the engine changed. A lot of the stuff between Source and Half Life One is just sort of things in the way that the engines changed. But come on, sell the cutscene. Okay. Oh, okay. That's actually good timing. Uh, so let's just on the loading screen there. I don't think actually... No, for some reason the loading screens don't show up in Source. That's kind of weird. Oh, actually, you can see that there. If, if, like, right now I'm crouch jumping, but it shows, like... That's a crouch jump. That's a regular jump. They are visually exactly the same, and that's actually going to cause a, a huge problem later on, and maybe some more problems at, uh, earlier in the game as well, actually, I don't know, but... Like, the difference in the way the jumping works is unintentionally huge, because that's a regular jump there, that's a crit... Actually, look, they both look the same. I don't know then, I don't know why the jump height in Half-Life Source is different, because visually they look roughly the same. Actually, the way of finding that out... If I jump there... Like, it was just sort of bouncing off the roof of the thing. Uh, what about in this one? Uh, yeah, it seems about the same. I don't, I don't know why the jumping is different then. But the jump heights are definitely different, and I'll show that later. Actually, I, I want to move over here. Oh yeah. For some, just just to explain why I went into that corner there, not that corner. For some reason, when the door explodes, if you sat in that corner, it'll hit you. And if you sat, if you sat behind that, it won't. It's a really weird little thing, but there you go. Uh, okay. Crowbar. Actually, I'm gonna swap back over real quick because I think this will probably be done. Yeah. Yeah, jump heights feel exactly the same, so I'm not sure why. Let's see if it makes a difference here. Because there are loads of minor inconsistencies. Okay, no, so that worked out the same. Loading the screen. Yeah, the loading doesn't show up in Source either for some reason. On stream, anyway. I don't know why that doesn't show up. That seems like a really weird thing, but... 
Because I swear the loading screen shows up in... Okay, well he's solid. I swear he's not solid in Half-Life 1. That's also... Oh, is this based on the... This might be based on the um, like the, the disc release because the crowbar's doing one hit to the glass instead of two. So that was far there. Okay, let's, let's take a quick look. One way of finding out which is how many hits does it take. That was about four or five, but one of them was a hit to the helmet, so... Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. Maybe the glass is just weaker in sauce? There we go, just just jump over there real quick. But yeah, my my recommendation for Half-Life will always be will always be the original game over source for all of the reasons that this stream will probably outline. Uh, actually, you know what? While I'm at it, I might as well do this as well. This is completely pointless, but it's it's just a fun little thing. Okay. Uh, is there anything actually over here? Oh, uh, some ammo. Okay. I'm curious how that'll actually like change in sauce as well, thinking about it. Ah, oh, come on. How am I screwing up the crouch jumps? That's like the easiest part of the game. Okay. So that's the end of... Whoa, okay. That's the end of that chapter. I'm going to actually pause it there because... Uh Okay, no, actually, after going from Half-Life to Half-Life Sauce, like, immediately the first thing that I'm noticing is that the movement just feels slower overall. It's not really that noticeable, like, if you're not paying attention, but it's... When immediately, like, hopping from one to the other, it feels really noticeable. It just doesn't feel anywhere near as fluid. I'll do this as well, just because. Okay, well that's different. Huh? Wait, what? Okay, well that's very different. Uh. There we go. Okay. So I had to walk out there for that to happen. So, it plays out basically the same except this has physics and there's a loading screen for some reason. Because apparently this entire area had to be loaded in. Even though it obviously didn't- why'd the bag go? <laughs> oh. Wait, hold on, where did the bar go? There's supposed to be a bar on that. Okay, well, the, the jump there felt a little bit easier, but that's just because I didn't screw it up more than anything else. So... That kit, the lighting just changed. Okay, that was really noticeable. Okay, back to this. Back to the actually fun movement. Like, look at how much faster that was. That was... See if I don't screw this up, because this is actually way more difficult than it seems. Jumping out of that is really annoying. Also, this is something that's always bothered me. There's this drain here. Hold on. I'm gonna open up this drain as well real quick. Like, there's this drain right here, but... Where is it? Where's the drain? Even weirder, after you go through the loading screen, the water the water disappears. I guess the drain never actually existed. Huh. Let's see if I can do this. Okay. I don't wanna die doing this. I screwed that up, I don't have enough speed. 
Yeah, I, I messed that up horribly. Okay, I, I'm screwing this up really badly. I think it's because, like, I feel like I'm dropping inputs because of the stream, but... Because it's definitely, like, nowhere near as smooth as it should otherwise be. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Still do it anyway, so... <laughs> Look at how ineffective bunny hopping is. This is pitiful. Oh my god. Okay. Do I need to say anything about this water? Or. Because this. This looks really out of place, this water texture. And just for good measure, of course, I'll check on the. I'll check on the drain. It doesn't even have water in it in this. So in this one, the loading water is actually the other way around. There's no water in it before the loading zone, and then there's water in it after the loading zone. That's really weird. Okay. I forgot to press that. Okay. Like, even sliding down here just feels a bit slower. I have the speed for it, but it's just... <sighs> that... Yeah, getting enough speed to do that is way more dangerous than sauce. Okay. I'm not going to be able to do the next thing that I was going to do now because of that, which is... Uh, this. First of all, I just want to do that. Like, you can see the health distance uh, difference there. Like, that's what I was gonna do, but I'm, I don't have enough health to do that in Sauce now, so... I'm gonna have to do that, like, the slow, boring way. I think this room is actually really bad in Sauce as well, because they decided to make all of these into physics objects, which... are really difficult to jump on. Because Sauce really doesn't like it when you jump on physics objects. Uh, and then... Actually, this is going to be an example of interacting with things through walls, so uh, this should be pretty good. Use the elevator through the wall, skip the loading zone. Nice. <laughs> uh, oh, I love it when this happens. Yeah, just the door opens but the window doesn't. Okay, let's <laughs> let's do all that, but in sauce, it's gonna be way slower. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to just jump across. I'm not gonna be able to just jump across. Uh, I can try, but I'll probably die. Yeah, I, I, uh, yeah. So that coming. Actually, wait, is there any health back here? Uh, no. Okay. Smells down there. I have an idea that might still work, but I I don't have enough health for it now. I don't know if there's health in any of these. I'm just hoping there is or isn't. Okay. Well, in that case, I'm just gonna do it the slower then. Whatever. I need I need like health for the rest of the game, so you know, it's... Uh, whatever. But it's time for physics objects jumping puzzle, which is not a terrible idea at all. Thanks, Valve. Why did you make this game? <laughs> not why did you make Half-Life, but why did you make Sauce? I mean, yeah it's, a phys yeah, it's a physics object. So the problem with these is that when you try and jump on them, which is why I'm not jumping, I'm just running off them. Um, when you try and jump on physics objects, the source engine really doesn't like it, and sometimes you just don't jump. So you just, if you try and jump off something, you'll just run off it instead and fall to, fall to your death. So, can't use it through the wall, which... Can I do this? They moved the trigger. 
they they changed the trigger location so that still doesn't work. Yeah, they they changed it. That sucks. Actually, wait, did that? Actually, I don't think they did. Actually, I think they just. No, no, they must have done. Okay. Whatever. I was gonna say they they probably didn't because I think the like trigger change, uh, the level change happened before the doors fully closed. But no, it was about the same. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. I'm guessing they just like actually fixed the size of the trigger. Which in that case, good job. You fixed the uh, you fixed the bug. Thanks, thanks, Valve. Less thanks for that though because I I'm stupid and ran into that. The lighting in this room looks different. That was way worse to do. That didn't feel anywhere near as as smooth. Also, the vent pro probably shouldn't. Have Did that headcrab just survive? It just fell straight through the. It just the the one that fell there just fell. That's not supposed to happen. <laughs> They're supposed to like fall down and then instantly get killed by it. They're not supposed to... Lovely. Uh, they're not supposed to do that. Oh, that's so slow. Like moving, moving objects in this is just so slow and painful. Oh. Combined with the, uh, what you call it, the like... The slower movement speed is just overall, I. It just doesn't feel anywhere near as smooth to play. But hey, you get super cool physics and fancy particles which look completely out of place, so that's. That's gotta be worth something. That broke late. That broke way later than it should have. And I'll show that that should have broke away later than it should have when I get to that in Half-Life. And I just realised Source is now ahead of Half-Life, so I should probably fix that. Because Source should never be ahead of Half-Life. Like, ever. So, let's get back to this. I don't never mind. I guess they do sometimes survive. I've always seen them die though when they drop down, so that's that's news to me. Can I do this? Yeah. Oh, uh, but what? I just instantly died. Okay. There we go. I didn't have enough time to try that in the sauce because the headcrab jumped before I got anywhere near it, so yeah, but if you can get on top of that headcrab before it jumps, then you can just uh you can just jump up straight to the ladder, which is pretty neat. So there you go, you can see there that normally breaks right as I go underneath it, and then I crouch jump and blah. Get a little boost off it. Which is why I was surprised when it didn't break instantly, because normally that breaks instantly. I nearly got stuck then. It is really easy to actually get like stuck and just stuck inside like a wall when the game loads in this game, which is kind of a problem. But hey, Sauce fixed that, so if you don't want to get stuck, then bless Sauce. There we go. That's... Yeah, this room isn't really very interesting, all things considered. Like, it's... I don't know, like, I... I have a lot of respect for Half-Life 1, but there's a lot of stuff that it does that's stupid, like this head crab right here. Because if you don't know that headcrab's there, which if you're playing the game for the first time, you won't know that headcrab's there, you'll pretty much always like just walk on top of it and then it'll jump up at you and do some damage. Which is pretty much unavoidable. 
Like, I, I have a lot of respect for Half-Life 1, but there are some things that it does which are really stupid. And some of the areas are kind of dumb as well. Like, I, I appreciate that they tried to build this whole facility and they tried to show, like, how every part of the facility was important and whatever. Like, oh, hey, there's a... Well, they have a cafeteria, so... They're in an underground lab. Where's where's the meat storage room? Well, there's the meat storage room. We just went through it, but yeah. Is it a fun area to play through? Not really. It basically just boils down to a puzzle, but yeah, I still respect it. So now we've got hostiles, which is the next chapter. Let's go back to this. Crowbar looks so weird in this actually, like the reflectiveness on it is way overdone. I hope somebody got fired for that blunder. Did I? Okay, so when I said that you can... Actually no wait, they changed how that works didn't they? That's why. They changed how that lever works. I think? No. No they didn't. So, okay, so in the way that I ran up to that and press use like that, in Half-Life 1 that normally works because like I said, you can interact with stuff through walls and uh, I guess at this angle it's technically through the wall in Half-Life, so I should have to be in front of it. That threw me off so much. Whatever, okay, that's fine. I've realised that I'm stupid and it was my- where'd the head crab go? Why did it move? But yeah, um... What was I saying again? I was saying something about, uh... things. This is I don't need to use the flashlight here. Hold on. Uh... Video, just brightness. I think the default is like... Even on 2.6, I don't need to use the flashlight. This room is- this, like, this, ugh, this vent is bright enough alone. Like, why is that? That doesn't seem right. Power 70%. Yeah, the- the reflectivity is like really destroying the um like the necessity for the flashlight in here because I can just see the walls. They could have fixed that really easy as well, but uh, really easily as well by just adding like another cube map. Also, I know that this barnacle looks like it's already dead because the tongue isn't all the way down, but that's just because the barnacles in Half Life Source are stupid and broken. So there's a lot of situations where their tongues aren't going all the way down for some reason, and then you'll get picked up by one even though it looks like you shouldn't have. Well, that ruined the surprise because of the reflective wall. That was... ugh. Also, we get the Half-Life Source, or, ha or the Source Engine flashlight instead, which is... Actually, I guess the Source Engine flashlight makes more sense, but it... Uh, I don't know. I prefer the Half-Life 1 uh, flashlight. The fuck? Just push me out the way. Okay. Uh... I mean, you're supposed to kill the scientists, but whatever. I, I can't hold on much longer. I, he blocked me. Okay. He he blocked me from jumping. Crap. Thanks, thanks, scientists. Okay, that time you died. Okay, that time he felt. I jumped onto the ladder. Why didn't I? Why didn't it like actually? What the fuck? What? <laughs> I'm just gonna wait a second after he jumps off the ladder, and then after he falls off the ladder, and then see if it works. Okay, there we go.
That's some cool reflectivity. Oh, lightning change. Back here again. Let's skip over to the actually one that's okay. Well, that was some smooth movement. Okay. Oh, come on. Well, that was bad. Who cares? Okay. So, this entire chapter is just complete bullshit from start to end. But, hey, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna get them? So how are you? <laughs> Seems legit. And now he's back on the elevator again. Okay. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Hold on. Okay. Well, that's fine. So, like I said, this chapter is basically just complete bullshit from start to end. It's running from place to place, doing a bunch of stuff that's... Is this the right way? I never actually remember... No, yeah, it is this way because that way loops around. So this is the right way to go. Uh, okay. That was... What was that even like? I think my mouse got stuck on... Uh, I don't know what it got stuck on, but I got stuck on something. Come on, uh, fur, 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 fur. Get out of my way, please. Thank you. I say is he's already dead. Whatever, same thing. He's... Uh, can I... No. That's fine. I think I'm on, like, normal, so they probably won't be able to hit me all the time. And let's get back. Whew, okay. Well, I actually saw that guy die. What a horrific sight that I wish to never see again. Yeah, jumping feels way different. Also you can see there that in this one I didn't have to jump on that box to go up like I did in uh, half Black 1, I just went straight out of there. That's an example of how the jumping is slightly different because in Half-Life 1 I wouldn't have actually made... I wouldn't have been able to jump up here either. Uh, I don't think. I don't think you can normally get up here. Hmm. Well, why am I stood up? Okay. And he's gone. Yeah, there's no like helmet effects in this for like when you shoot somebody in the in the head with a. This is going way faster. Game capture. Oh crap! I forgot to update it, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. So. I forgot. I forgot to update it to Half-Life Sauce. Whoops. Yeah. Thanks for pointing that out. 
Come up for love of. Okay. What the hell? Uh, actually, the tongues in this area aren't broken. They normally are. That's a bit of a surprise, but whatever. Take me with you. Oh, oh. I swear the bullet damages are different as well in this, because I don't think a single SMG bullet normally kills a, a what do you call it, scientist in one shot. I don't know, I'll, I'll check when I... They're taking way more shots as well, I'm pretty sure. Am I on the same difficulty? Yes. Yes, I am. Okay. It's just that it feels really different uh, different for some reason. I'm not going to be able to just drop down on I because of my health. No. This is being way- this is way more difficult for some reason. Okay, I'm dead. Wait, why is Q doing that? Uh. Wait, is this what I was talking about? Yeah, this is what I was talking about. Okay. Okay. This is going to be way more difficult now because for some reason the, the source decides that it doesn't want any of this. Yeah, I catch them down because the game hurts me. So, How am I going to do this? I don't know. Well, I mean, this would work, I guess. Uh, okay, that works. Yeah, um, or not. It did work until it didn't. I want to get... Uh, this is, like I said, I, I, I want to make sure both games are up to the same point before I continue, so this is... Gonna quick save there. Oh, okay. They are doing way more damage than they probably should be. Uh, can I just do this instead? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna do this and then just wait for them to. Okay, never mind. Never, never mind. This doesn't feel anywhere near as effective as it does in actual Half-Life for some reason. And they are reacting so quickly. Oh my god. I, I didn't even shoot. I'm not clicking Left click. Why is it doing that? Are they both dead? Okay. Jesus Christ. I'm so glad that's over. Right. Actually, there's health down there, isn't there? Uh, I'll go back down, I'll get the extra health, and then I'll, I'll come back up. Because I swear there's health in some of those crates, but... But where's the button? Wait, is there no buttons go back down? I get, I guess there's no button. I swear there's a button to go back down in Half Life though. I don't know. I'll check in a second because what do you call it? But I. Hmm. Okay, no, I. I swear to god, there is at least some health in one of these crates. Maybe there isn't then. That's fine. I'll just I'll just look like an idiot. So I'm gonna wait for this to go to the top, and then I will swap back over to Half Life again.
Okay. So let's swap back over to Half-Life and... No, there isn't a button. I thought there was a button. Huh. I'm going to check in these real quick because I swear there's like... Also, I am on normal, right? Yeah. I mean, I can't go back down now and break open the crates back down there, but I, I swear to god there is health in those, normally. Oh yeah, there's nothing back there. Why do I always check back there? I know there's nothing back there. <laughs> I apologise for that, but it's just way more efficient than doing it the normal way. Okay, so now I need to remember where the thing is. I think it's this one and then it's... No, it's not. It's this one, isn't it? Yeah. It's all the way down to the bottom and then it's the middle one. Like I said earlier that I respect a lot of the stuff that Half-Life 1 did, but all of these vent sections, not really some of its best parts. On the, uh, on the plus side though, like the vent sections aren't too long and they're mostly at the start of the game, so... Speaking of which, like... I think that might actually be like one of the last vent sections in the game, right? Like this chapter is sort of like the only major point in the game where there's like a huge amount of vent crawling. Like, there are other events I have to go through, but they're, they're nowhere near as major as this chapter is. Actually, I'm gonna... Okay. So here's an example, actually, of what I was talking about earlier as well. Can I jump on top of that crate? And then when I finish up this, uh, we'll take a look, because I swear I will be able to. Because the jump height is weirdly different between Sauce and... Gee, let's see if this actually... Well, that's... The movement is messing me, but... Yeah, that still sort of works. Yeah, it still works. Okay. Yeah, I'm taking way more damage for some reason in this. Same difficulty, it's just the game is deciding not... I was... Okay, so... I, uh, hmm... So I was moving slowly then, but I was stood up normally, but the thing is I was actually crouched at that point. And then the reason the camera went down to normal height is because I tapped crouch again. Well, so much for the I'm kind of curious if my camera would have like gone through the roof of the, uh, what do you call it, gone through the roof of the vent if I hadn't tapped crouch. Okay. So let's find out then, because... Well, let's not find- it's not let's find out because I already know that this is a thing, but... Yeah. So, there you go. That's an example of how the jump height is different between the two. In this I can't jump- crouch jump onto it. In this one I can. And I might actually be able to- Yeah, you would never be able to do this in Half-Life 1. You wouldn't be able to jump on top of those boxes. So, uh, pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good game. See if I can... Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Where's the thing gone? Wait, where is the thing? It's down there. See if I can do this. This is kind of awkward, but... I'll give it a few tries and then if I don't get it, I'm just gonna do the lift. Never mind, there we go. Of course I'm gonna get it first try. It, it wasn't first try, but I can pretend it was first try. Don't... D don't ruin my dreams. That was first try. I'm gonna pretend. I wonder if this works actually in Sauce. We'll find out. What the- okay, so that pushed me back. So it- mm, it- it does sort of work, but not quite as it did in Half-Life 1. Oh, come on. Luckily, though, the, the extended crouch height makes that easier, so... Because I think normally you have to, like... Actually, I don't even know how you're supposed to get through that normally. I don't know if there's a ladder somewhere or what, but... 
Oh yeah, the different flashlight. Okay. So I will swap back across. <sighs> that is one thing that does actually like really bother me about Gold Saucer. Uh, how you get stuck on like enemies while they're dying. It's a really minor thing, but it's fine. First try. It's fine. First try. It's fine. I, I saved while falling as well, so I have to do it now. Uh, okay. It's fine. First try. It's. <laughs> I. D mm. I. I could reload an earlier save. I could do that, but. I'm not going to be able to do this, I don't think. It's fine, first try. <laughs> I find it easier to do it while moving though, because, um, what do you call it? Uh, I, I don't know why I find it easier to do while moving, it's just I do. Uh, mostly, I think it's because like, when I fall down straight, I just find it difficult to realign myself, but or to line up perfectly with it. Whereas if I move to the side a little bit, then I know that I can be on the side of the ladder. Because like if you fall straight on top of the ladder, then you just hit the top of the ladder and die. Whereas like you need to land slightly to the side of it, I think. I don't know. That's just sort of my experience with it, but. That's why I move during it, because I find it a little bit easier to sort of like line myself up with the side of, with the side of it and then as I'm falling down past it I try and move back into the ladder so that I latch onto it. I don't know, I, I just find it easier to do it that way. It's, that's probably like a really stupid way of doing it, but it's just, it's just what I find easier. Okay. Okay, so I don't know how I'm exactly going to do this, but actually I'm probably just going to do it normally. I could I could try and do like stupid grenade jumps and stuff, but I... Eh. Actually, I have armor as well, don't I? So that won't really work too well. Because I'm pretty sure the amount of distance you go from explosives is based on armor as well. As in, if you have armor, then it's lessened for some reason. Also, I love that fall so much. Just the way the, uh, what you call it, the camera, like, jolts when you hit the ground. It's, oh, when you hit the water. It's so good. Also, it just looks, it just looks really stupid as well. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm already on full nerds. What am I doing? Why am I going that way? I should be going that way. I should be going for that, for that ladder. What am I doing? Oh, I didn't save. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. It'll take a second to get back. I mean, I don't really care too much about, like, doing everything perfectly because I'm not a Half-Life speedrunner, so... I don't really care too much. It's just, like, this is just sort of the way that I tend to enjoy just playing the game casually. And I know that a lot of the stuff that I'm doing is actually done in speedruns, it's just that I I, I I, just enjoy doing stuff this way. And I always like to play through Half-Life 1 at least like once a year, so... Getting out of the way on the first day. <laughs> the first day of the year. Get it, get it done early. And then I can worry about it, and I can just worry about playing other games the rest of the year. That said, I probably will stream this again later. I don't know. I'm I am tempted to like try and learn the speedrun for this because it does what the hell? It does seem like um like an interesting game to try and speedrun, but I don't know. Mostly because of the movement. I just love the gold sauce movement. I just realised I haven't swapped back to uh, so, uh, sauce in a while, have I? Let's go check up on sauce. 
I didn't realise I was so far behind on sauce actually. Like I've done so much with that. I just went on to water power there. Uh, let's hope that nothing gets weird during this because there's a good chance that I'm going to mess something up here because something will be slightly different and it'll just completely throw me off which will which will be fun, I guess. Uh, the... Okay, I feel as though I'm actually getting a bit more... Sp uh, uh, let's not do that. I... Seriously? That didn't just happen. Nobody saw that. I didn't just jump off the platform by accident. I thought I had more speed than that. It's like swapping between this and Half-Life is really difficult actually because of the like minor differences in movement. Like for a moment there I actually was starting to get up like some pretty good like bee hopping speed but then it just immediately sort of just died off. Uh, there we go, it just sort of died off there as well. Actually I should probably do show pause right so that way I can actually see- did I just run straight through- huh. I swear I just ran straight through that hound eye. But- I'm sorry- what? That's uh, but, 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 open this door please. Okay, I, I think I broke the game for a second there by just spamming use on that, so, okay. Hey, hey, over here. Eat lead, that seems w like I, I mentioned this earlier like all the sounds are way quieter than they probably should be but like even there like the sound of that sort of bashing into that seems way too quiet especially during the what you call it as well uh like the considering like on the title screen it's way louder than that Actually, I can probably just... Actually, I, I I almost can just jump up back onto it from there because of how the jump height is different, but... It's not quite high enough, so I'm still sliding off it. What was I going to say? Oh yeah, um, I was, was going to say earlier about how like I actually wouldn't... Uh, 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 how I actually might be interested in learning the speedrun for this. Uh... Yeah, um, I might be. It, it seems like an interesting game to try and run. The question is that they're doing more damage than they should, aren't they? They're doing 10 damage. Okay. Wait, where'd the wood go? There's, there's supposed to be wood there that you're supposed to break, right? Yeah. Just saw swings. Okay. Alright. Did I hit them both? I actually don't know because the the sound effect was different and it was still a beep, but it was it was a different beep. It's not the one I was expecting, so. Question is though, should I run Half-Life or oh, Half-Life's I'm not gonna drop down next, I'm probably gonna die. No, the, the, the answer to that is obviously Half-Life, because Sauce is just... Okay, that was way louder than everything else. Yeah, there's just like a really weird issue with the volume in this. I'm not sure why. But where's the water? Oh wait, is that the what? I'm dead. Yeah, no. My god, the recoil on the SMG as well. I should probably kill this guy first. 
this guy, this hound eye, Sam Bang. Oh my god, I hate the way that shifts around, that's disgusting. Okay, I'm fine. Crap. <laughs> I nearly fell off the ladder then. That was... It's like, that, the, the jump onto that pipe was so effortless. Like, it, it, it wasn't difficult at all. Okay, I need to make sure I actually hit the second button because... And there's a good chance I'm probably not going to. Okay. Okay, I saw that coming and I still, still happened. This is- I feel so this jump's gonna be way more difficult to do- yeah. Also I'm taking way more damage, which is not fun. Actually this jump's pretty difficult to do normally anyway, so... There we go. Probably shouldn't have been crouching for that actually. That was probably my problem. Probably my problem- yeah that's a great sentence. Uh, swap back to... You and now it's like whoa! What the hell am I moving weirdly? It's like the, the water is so much more obvious in this one compared to in Saw. So it's just like the the ground is glistening slightly, but only slightly. Actually, I probably know why the frame rate's being a little bit weird. Hold on. That should have probably fixed it. Oh wow, everything looks weird and green now. What the hell? What, what did that do to the lighting? Who would have thought you'd still be alive? Uh I'm just gonna restart the game and hope that fixes the problem. Because that seemed to break the lighting for some reason. But yeah, so so far. I mean, I know Source isn't great, and I, I've criticised Source very heavily before, but like doing a direct comparison like this, I'm finding it really interesting, just sort of seeing like exactly what's different and what isn't. Especially like now that I'm more aware of like the, the difference in jump height in particular. Because like I'm sure there's gonna be so many places where that difference is gonna actually like make a huge difference. And probably break the game in some ways. But uh lighting. I think the lighting is still broken, but it It seems a little bit less broken. Uh, yeah, it looks a bit better, so. I think it went into Fulbright before for some reason, and now it's not in Fulbright, which is obviously better visually. And that's why I wanted to... That was actually a nice jump. Um, and that's why I was worried about the, what you call it, pressing that button before, because normally the way I do that is just running over it and just spamming E. And obviously, because you can't press buttons through walls and sauce, that wouldn't work, so. Hey, I actually killed it. Neat. Hey, I can't reload. <laughs> Neat. Okay. Let's see if I die to the Hydra on the way back up. I probably will. I, actually, I might not. I think I've got pretty decent health right now. Yeah, I should be fine. Yeah, okay. So while that's going on, I'm going to swap. Whoa, okay, that's not right. Swap back over to this. Did I turn on the power again? Yeah, I did. Okay. Back over to Half Life Source and see if. 
any of what I just did actually works. Yeah, no, you cannot see the water. I I have the video setting set right, right? Set right, 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 yeah. Yeah, I... D hmm. Yeah, the water's still in the same place, it's just that it's, it, it's impossible to see for some reason. So again, it's a, it's another situation where the the change in visuals actually made the game worse. So, there are, there are a good few places like that, and like I said earlier on, like I think that visually it just looks worse as well. This isn't gonna work, but I I figured out from a while ago that you can still press the button like that. It's just a bit more finicky because you can't press it through the wall. Uh, I'm probably gonna die here actually because I'm not. Because apparently if I just walk left and right he just sh shuffles around. Okay. That uh... Well okay then. Water doesn't even look that good. What is going on with the reflection as well? What is that even trying to? Oh, is that like the, the danger stripes? Okay. That is different, I'm pretty sure. And I can prove that it's different because, well, it's Half Life 1. But okay. Lighting just. Oh, is that my flashlight dying? I don't know. Yeah, no, that is different. Because then this is actually like a a visual like pool of green there, but that's not there. It's just a green glow instead, which is kind of weird. Also, the FOV is slightly... What am I using in... Why am I using 110? Oh... Okay, that's locked to 90. I don't have a problem with that. That changes the FOV of the view model though, which is kind of weird. I thought that would have been like view, what is it, like view model FOV? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Alright, anyway then. Uh, I wasn't trying to do that right, but I accidentally did that right, so... Even though I just swam, swam around there backwards, I, that wasn't what I was trying to do. I thought it was actually on the other side. Uh, okay. I'm curious if this next part actually works properly because... This next part is a little bit awkward sometimes as well. Okay, well that works. Did I just take like... I just took 15 damage from that, didn't I? Yeah, I think so. Uh, okay. Somehow I was able to slide down the front of that, I think. Uh, and then... Back here... And which side is it? Not that side. Yep, there we go. I always go the wrong way here. Which is why I, was, I wasn't I was expecting to go the right way on my first try when I was swimming backwards, so... I should have just realised I've screwed that up. Okay. I need to remember to keep like um, swapping the capture as well because I don't know why I jumped there. That was <laughs> I can do that without jumping. I don't know why I just jumped there. Um, but yeah, like I feel as though I'm forgetting to change the capture every now and then. 
that's uh I want to make sure that that's not broken okay so here I'm just gonna do the regular like trip mine skip thing how many do I have there's one more there it is and then power up actually I'm gonna do the trip mine thing now uh, and then I'll do it in the other one in half life sauce but in in sauce I don't think this will actually be necessary because it's like in sauce like you have the extra jump height so that's one two three four and five Five. Okay. So there's power up, and I'm actually going to try it without using the trip mines. Oops. This this is definitely possible without the trip mines. The first one is anyway. I'm not sure about the second one, and I don't want to risk it right now. Okay, that didn't work. Wait, are they going deeper? No, they're not. Okay. So you can do that with only one in this one. You might be able to do the second one as well, but the second jump is a little bit more difficult. I don't know how this is going to work, though. That's... There's not a big enough gap there. Is this <laughs> is this where it ends right here? Huh. Well, that's uh, a little bit awkward. Here's what should have happened. Uh, that's what should have happened. <laughs> but I guess I guess the player collision like radius is larger or something. Something related to collision is different there anyway. So now here comes the question. Do I no clip <laughs> do I no clip there so that I can actually do that properly or uh, so that I can do it like the way it would be done the same, or because hold on, where is it? It's right here. It's like yeah, instead of just going down, I just sort of like pop down onto the platform. I'll just knuckle down. That's what I'm gonna do. I uh, wow, that was a horrible spelling. Okay. I'll I'll just knuckle and then just pretend that that somehow worked, even though it doesn't. Just for the sake of like an actual like fair comparison between the two games, because I mean I said fair comparison that <laughs> what where what was I screaming? There was some like very loud horrific screaming then. Like that's that's not, that uh, that sounded like some Left 4 Dead 2 stuff. It's like yeah, all, all, all the all the audio levels are like messed up, but it's not that way. It's this way. But apparently, uh, what you call it, the screams. Oh, they're they're way louder. Okay, that's fine. I'll just take that hit. I'm gonna die. Yeah, all of these shootouts are way more difficult in this as well, which is interesting I guess. I don't want to say it's bad but it, I don't really want to say it's good either because it's 
Just the game's way more difficult. Even on the uh, same difficulty. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm on normal on Half-Life 1 as well. It's like, this damage feels more comparable to hard in Half-Life than... than normal. That loaded... Yeah, those are loading in way quicker. They normally take a second to appear in... Uh, actually, I'm gonna quickly close the options menu and source. There we go. just so much faster overall, like, seriously. Maybe my uh, bunny hopping in the sauce is just not as pronounced. And maybe it's because the, uh, what you call it, the movement in uh, sauce is just a bit slower, but... It's probably a mixture of the two, actually. I'm probably just not as good at... Um, bunny hopping in sauce and it's also nowhere near as effective I think as the main thing. But they swapped the side of them. They swapped sides, hold on. Uh swap over, please. Swap over, please. Why is it not swapping? I'm pressing the wrong button, that's why. Yeah, that's interesting. Very, uh, very minor change there, but... Interesting nonetheless. Hey look, a place where we actually need to use the flashlight. That's, that's rare. I've actually forgotten what's down here, like, I, I almost never go down here. Health, I'll take that because the game's just beating me down. Was that sir? R-L... R-I-L... Rilla? I've never seen that before. What the hell? Like I said, I'd never really go down here. That's probably why I've never seen that before, but... Is that there in Half-Life 1 as well? I'm guessing it is, because like the maps are just almost direct parts, but... Let's take a look. Actually, interestingly, that's a place in Half-Life 1 where you don't actually need to use a flashlight to see it. But in Source you do. That's an interesting difference. Uh, yeah, it's a bit more difficult to see here, but yeah, it is still there. Rilla, huh. I wonder why that's there. And there's nothing on that side. Hmm. It's probably I've never seen that before. Because it's... <laughs> it's really difficult to see. But because of the differences with uh, Sauce, it's a bit more, more obvious. Like There are very distinct lines on that wall, is what I'm trying to say. It just pops out a little bit more. Yeah, this area is way darker. Whoops. What? Why am I? Okay. Uh, I have four grenades. I can use one here. That's probably a smart idea, because otherwise I would attack. I always forget about that Vortigo and that spawns right there. Uh... I was about to say, one of you were floating. There you are. Okay, alright. So... I'm trying to think, what? Yeah, I'm just going to ignore you. I'm just going over here. Uh, wait, you're not dead? That, that's normally enough bullets. I'm, uh, why am I getting confused by this? The 
the, the damage and numbers are different for some reason. Everything's a little bit, a little bit more difficult in this. It might just be that like I'm actually playing on easy in Half Life One, even though I didn't. I, I don't think I chose easy, and I don't think easy is the default. So skill, skill, skill is set to one, which I think. Oh. Okay. So no, in Half Life One, I am playing on easy then. Okay. I always thought that skill one was normal and then skill zero would have been easy, but no, okay. That's actually different how I always thought the skill level worked. Hmm. That'll explain why the damage values have been a little bit different then. Because I've been playing on the next difficulty up instead of the correct one. Ah, come on. Hey look, it's this room where you normally need to stop and like kill a bunch of people or you, or you can just not take the thing and you'll be fine. Let's see if I do this right. Okay, just, 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 give, just give me a second. There we go. Well, that was pitiful. What? Oh, okay. I see how it is. So, for some reason, the game decided no, even though it normally lets you. That would normally just jump on top of. They are not solid. And I accidentally saved inside it. Okay. That's the same save, not that one, it's that one. Yeah, no, they're not solid. Okay. Good to know. I've learned something. I feel like I'm still taking more damage though, even on easy. Like this, this still feels like there's more damage being dealt than than in regular Half Life. Or well, maybe that's because I've got less health and less armor. That's probably yeah, actually that's probably something to do with it. Is this the right way? I don't actually remember. Yeah, it is. Okay. I'm not gonna try I'm not gonna try that. Once is enough, I'm not doing it again. I'll try that a couple of times in Half-Life and then if I don't get it I'll Actually it's been a while since I've I've changed to Half-Life. I just tapped out by accident, whoops. And I'm dead. Neat. Okay. Actually, it seems like if you crouch fully and then you tap crouch, sometimes it stands you up even though you're actually not. See if I can do that. Okay, that's actually a lower crouch position than normal. Looks like I'm just snaking around on the floor. That actually affects the projectile position as well, okay. Okay, so yeah, now I'm crouched while sort of stood up, apparently. I'm, 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 I'm really curious. I'm going to check this out. Does this actually come out of like where... So yeah, that still comes out of where the camera is, even though... Where the camera is... Shouldn't 
be correct, that's probably going to shoot me. Is there like anywhere where I can sort of like crouch through around here? I don't think there is, is there? No. That sucks. Okay. Uh, what am I doing? I don't know. <laughs> Swap back over to regular Half-Life. That's what I was wanting to do. Got a little bit of speed there, but not a whole lot. Yeah, I'm just gonna let those guys live this time. Uh, yeah, I just realised what I just did after I did it, so not... Mm. Yeah, jumping through uh, trip mines probably not a smart idea, all things considered. It's probably quicker just to go down that way, right? Yeah. Okay, that nearly killed me, but I also got a huge speed boost from it, so I don't even care. I'm not even mad. Like, I feel as though I should reload that just so that I don't have 8 health, but... I, maybe, actually, I should. But I, at the same time, I feel as though, like... That was just... It just felt so good. It was unintentional completely, but it... I don't care. Oh, come on, I got stuck on the thing. But yeah, honestly, I, I absolutely love just like trying to bunny hop through this chapter because of how I'm losing speed there. Okay. Uh, just because of like how precise the hops actually have to be to still land on the edge there. And also to actually keep speed because I feel as like I'm losing some speed there as well. I'm not really gaining any speed from it. That's my problem with like bunny hopping, uh, bunny hopping and half-life bomb. Like I feel that yeah, I find it a little bit difficult to actually gain speed from it. Like I feel as like I'm gaining a little bit, but not as much as I possibly could be. This is I'm actually going to play that set because I don't want to die. Oh, actually, how much damage does that do? Because I know in Source I did that. What? I wasn't doing any damage. Oh. That's really inconsistent. Okay, so it's doing four here. Rather than five. Also, they're solid! Ah! So weird though. Like, I don't know why they're not solid in sauce. Probably to stop you from just like running past them like I just did and them actually not being a threat, but even then you can just jump over them and they're still not a threat. Ah, crap. Okay. I'm gonna try the, um, the jump through the, what you call it? through the trip mines. It's, it's stupidly precise, I think, but I might get it. Hey, look at that. I, I was gonna say first try, but actually, you know, fuck it, first try. <laughs> the one before, that was just the warm-up. That's all it was. I just ran onto the track like an idiot. Oh, I've gotta do it again, okay. First try! <laughs> That's actually really precise. I don't know how I just did that. Like, sometimes I'll struggle with that and then other times I won't and it's just like, okay. I mean, it, it, might, it might actually not be really precise, but it feels really precise whenever I try and do it. Can 
gonna just take that and that and then I mean I could have just done this first before picking that up but hey look another example of how you can interact with things through walls cool can't do that in cells <laughs> Uh, can I please get up here? I need the health. There's the health. Uh, I knew that was going to happen as well. I knew I was going to mess that up. So 70 and then I I shouldn't just try I should just not try and jump over them because okay I said that and then I did it anyway but can I listen do I have my volume too low no it just took a second before I actually did it okay And I'm gonna swap back over here, finish up this one. I was not ready for that, in the slightest. I'm actually gonna need to pick up the health here, because... yeah. This is gonna be an easier jump though, yeah. But then I can't interact with that through the wall, so what's the point? Ah, it looks. Z fighting. Cool. It's way easier to, like, break this map, though. Well, not break this map, but just, like, climb up to places where you're not supposed to be. Is it? I mean, well, no, it definitely is because of the, what you call it, the changes in physics, but... I'm staying stuck at the very least, so... Yeah, sort of, there you go. Uh, whatever. You can do that in Half-Life 1 as well, but it's... Yeah. Oh great, the slower physics push. I'm actually getting more health from this though, so... Oh great. You know what? Ugh. While I'm waiting. Just because why not? The leeches in Half-Life 1 are, like, really not a threat. Like, I don't think I've ever actually taken damage from a leech. If I have, then it's like, I've never really not... Okay, well, that was drowning damage. That wasn't leech damage. I thought, I, I, I thought like, just as I said that, then I took damage from a leech. But no, that was, that was drowning, so... I hope it was. If I go back up to 70, then yeah. Oh no, where? 68. Damn it. I took two damage from a leech. But yeah, no, like, the leeches are really sort of, like, useless. Like, I don't think it's really that common to take damage from the leeches. Why did I come up here? I don't know. Because taking the, uh, what you call it, the... The crossbow here really doesn't have much of a purpose, because I'm going to lose it at the end of this chapter anyway. Hey! There we go. Uh, alright. This part... I either screwed up or I don't. Well, I have uh, armor, but I messed that up anyway. Yeah, I'll do that one. I want to do this whole part um, normally, actually, first, and then I'll do it in... 
tin sauce, I think. Hey! Oh, I didn't get there fast enough so that he didn't despawn. That sucks. Ah, oh, come on. Why did that just stop? Oh. <laughs> I was gonna say, I just I heard a head crap behind me and then just... Yeah, okay. Actually, I'm gonna swap back over there. Because Sauce is now, like, quite a bit behind because I had the whole rocket sequence. As opposed to, um... Half-Life, where I could just skip, like, a good... How many seconds there? Actually, can I just take a second here so I should talk about Black Mesa, as in the um, the remake? Because I... Part of me really likes what the Black Mesa team have done with Half-Life, but at the same time, I also really don't like a lot of the stuff they've changed with Black Mesa. Like, a lot of it I, I really do kind of like, but the rest of it is just... Eh. Where am I going? Did I just get turned around? I don't know. Oh, that drowning effect is so much more obnoxious. What the hell? That also felt like it kicked in a little bit quicker. But yeah, um... In particular, like the changes they made to on a rail where they forced you to actually use the um oh, Okay. So earlier on I was talking about how their tongues sometimes don't display properly. Yeah, that's that's now actually happening. I uh buh? That's fine, I'll just jump up there anywhere. Oh, great! That's exactly what I wanted. Thanks, thanks again. Uh, and I don't have any suit armor here, so I'm gonna have to do this the slightly different way instead. There we go. But yeah, like, the changes they made to Honor Rail I really don't like. Because they forced you to actually play the chapter the way it was intended. I'm dead, yeah. I took too long on that first jump. Really? Did I just do that? But okay, that feels a bit weird. Yeah, no, the jumping there feels different. It might be because of like the slightly different movement speeds. Okay, there we go. Oh, fuh, 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 fuh. Why, head crab? Why were you there? Yeah, never mind. It's just because I was being stupid. That's why. That boss squid was more aggressive than it was an half-life bomb. Uh, the changes they made to a bunch of us as well. Uh, like, they changed the SMG from having 50 bullets in a magazine to... I don't know how many it was, it was like 30 or something. Which... Small change, but it, it just feels weird to me. Okay, so this is where we're in Half-Life 1, I think. I am looking forward to like the stuff they've done with Zen though, because the the stuff they've done with like the Zen parts of the game actually does look pretty interesting from like the trailers and stuff. So I'm I'm looking forward to playing for Zen, but like the rest of the game so far, I've really it's really been sort of like just huge hit or miss for me. Especially uh, surface tension. Like some parts of surface tension, I think, in Black Mesa look absolutely amazing. 
whereas other parts just are completely different from the source material. Actually, the, uh, what do you call it, the rocket silo in, um, in on a rail as well, uh, the rocket silo area, which we just did, like, if 20 minutes, for 10 minutes ago, however long ago, um, that part changed massively, actually, not just, um, from, from Half-Life 1 to Black Mesa, but, like, in the original, in the original, what do you call it? like 2012 mod release version of Black Mesa the um the silo area was completely different like it was it was more similar to to the version in like the the original game but then in in Black Mesa they they changed uh, in the like new steam release they changed it and sort of they basically entirely reworked that area which is interesting but I just I it just feels weird to me. How like they, they started with the source material and then they basically just turned it into something completely different. I see it. I'm not sure why they've done that. I'm guessing it's just to make it make it a little bit different from Half-Life 1, but it it just feels weird to me. Where are we taking this Freeman guy? Upside. Especially when you compare the um the mod release. Like the, the 2012 version of Black Mesa to the actual like retail release, which still isn't finished, but like when you compare the two, like it feels as though the mod version is tr trying more similar to, uh, tr trying more closely to actually like replicate uh, the original game than the than the actual releases to me. It's just it feels weird. Like, another thing as well, like, the release, like, it just feels like a weird mix between the Black Mesa team wanting to make their own thing inspired by Half-Life, or, like, based on Half-Life, while also trying to remain faithful to it. Like, uh, it's just, it's, it's, it's interesting to see that, see how their, sort of, like, the, their design changed from 2012 to now, but from, like, a faithful recreation to... A recreation with the run changes, but why can I still hear assassins? I can still hear these assassins like shooting their pistols. That's kind of weird. That is a Half Life 2 texture, I'm pretty sure. Why is there even grass in here? Why is the ground grass? Oh crap. Like that shouldn't be a thing. Oh hey, they fixed the um... Oh, okay. They fixed the, uh, what do you call it? The things being trends. Okay. Gonna see how this goes. Okay. Ah, uh, damn it. I got a couple hops off and then I, I missed one. Uh, okay. So this is actually a chapter where the the change in jump height makes a huge difference. And I want to make sure I'm at the same point for both of these when I actually get there, so... Okay, that's the one that I need to change. Yeah, just go faster, whatever. Also, I took fall damage in that. Oh. Okay, so I just came to a complete stop that time as opposed to like carrying the speed forward. Also, the change in water texture. <laughs> it just, it looks so weird having like actual, like, sort of more realistic water textures with these textures as well. It's just like a complete sort of flip-flop in design. So yeah, at this point you're normally supposed to go over there and blah blah blah. But the thing is, like, like I... I always forget which way you're actually supposed to go at this point, 
so normally, I mean, the last time I played this, I got confused and I was like, oh, which way am I supposed to go? Here is an actual, an actual issue with the change in jump height. So, let's say I, had, I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. It's my first time playing the game. I wander around here for a bit. I try and figure out where I'm supposed to go. I find this and I'm like, oh, can I jump over that? No. It's placed slightly too high for me to jump over. And then eventually I... There. And then eventually I go back and figure out where I'm actually supposed to go, which is back over here at the start of... Uh, which is all the way back over here at the start. I'm also going to take your pistol, thank you. And then... I go over here and do the thing properly. And then... is this where the thing is? I think that might be where the thing is, but... Oh crap, I slipped off. Oh crap, I'm back here. But yeah, so... It's like, you can do it that way, which is the way you're supposed to do it. That's the intended way. But and then... actually wait, hold on, is this the room? No, this isn't the room. But in theory, if I were to go around here... Hey, look at that, it's that room. But look at this, in Saucy you can jump on top of the railings. Major well, that was stupid. But, um, yeah, you see my point. Like, it's... This minor change in physics has... hugely impacted, like, the actual game itself. To the point where, if I was if I was doing this properly, and if I wasn't being stupid, and like I was remembering to jump after I hit the uh, super slippery uh, danger stripes, then that would probably be faster than doing that room the normal way. Probably, I don't know if it would be. It might be. Probably is. Who knows? But hmm, that's only possible in Sauce though, because oh, we're coming up on this part. <sighs> Great, okay. This is without a doubt the best part of Half-Life Sauce. Not Half-Life, just Half-Life Sauce. That's how you know it's good. This is an area that is so different on so many, on like, on such a deep level that the Half-Life Sauce version is without a doubt superior. And if you can't tell, I am not being serious in the slightest. This is the worst part of the game. Uh, okay. First of, first of all, I need to get through this part normally, and then... Uh, actually, I'm gonna take that. Okay. So, I'm gonna do this part in the, uh, in the terrible original Half-Life 1 form first. I just realised... I wasn't record I wasn't capturing any of that. Actually no I was. I was capturing that, never mind. It's kinda hard for me to tell. I'm getting really confused now because of like all the shifting between Half Life and Half Life One. Point is I think I was capturing all of that. I hope I was. Anyway. Point is this part is probably faster in Half-Life Sauce if you just jump over that railing there. And then the next part coming up is going to be way better in Sauce. But first of all I have to redo this part in Half-Life 1 now, so we'll just quickly finish this up and then I will be right there. Also the change in water texture in this room made this area seem less filthy, I guess, than it was, than actually, like it should be. Okay. Take that, and then... Hit that. 
Okay. Okay, that was actually a way better thing there, so... Here we are. So this is... This is how this area is in Half-Life 1. This is this is very important, so this will be on the test. So th this is how it is. It looks pretty normal, right? You've, you've got all this normal stuff going on. Oh. And then you've got all this stuff going on, and then you, you've got all this stuff going on, and then I think it's through here? Is it? No, it isn't. It's through here, and then it's down through some trip mines. But I forgot where the trip mines are. Through here? Here they are. Wait. Have I gone past them? No, they're here. It's been a while since I've played Half-Life 1, okay? Don't don't judge me, I'm forgetting where things are. Okay. I screwed that up. Actually this area in Black Mesa, like, I don't know how you were supposed to get through this area in Black Mesa, like, genuinely. I I spent, like, 30 minutes in this area trying to figure it out, and in the end, I think I just ended up, like, abusing the physics to try and, like, get over a fence or something. I, I, I don't know where I was trying to get to, but I just ended up abusing the game just to, to actually beat the game. Or beat that area. Beat this area, rather. Because it's just, it didn't make any sense to me. I don't know where you were supposed to go. They completely changed up that area too as well, which is why, but which is why I didn't know where to go. But it's mm. okay. So that's question ethics. So that's that's that area in Half Life. So this is this area in Half Life. Star, so I'll be ready for this. Seems pretty normal so far, right? Seems the same. And then uh, right around here-ish. Oh hey, cool. This is this is like um. Half-Life, but with extreme difficulty. Like, you know, it's... You better have, better have the, the maps memorised, because, my god. You don't know how difficult uh, how difficult it's going to be to get through this area. Oh boy, look at that. So much e so easy to get through. Also, th this is something as well. In Normally you can only use this right click zoom in multiplayer, but in Half-Life Star you can use it in single player as well. I don't know why. But yeah, so that's... Me dying is what that is. So that's that area, which if that's your first time ever playing Half-Life, good luck figuring out where to go with all that stuff on the screen, because... That's a little bit difficult to oh crap. Uh, a little bit difficult to figure out even if you've uh, like actually played Half-Life. Like the only way like I'd know where to go there is because I already know what to do in that area. Or, or in, I know where to go rather. If I didn't know where to go, that would have been impossible. So um yeah, that's, that's good. It's all sealed off, great. Oh. Ah. Wait, did that all just happen? I had a dodge just happen. I don't know how much star it was. Oh, was it this one? What dodge did I just hear happen? I had a door open, but I don't know which one it was. You know, I'm just gonna let you do your thing. I'm just gonna take this real quick though. See ya. Oh. Good job, me. Yeah, I think I'm safe here. It's 
So this is the room that I was talking about where if you just press E on the door then you can open it. Which is um, pretty bad considering that it's actually supposed to be an exploit, but you know, it's fine. It's like, I, I know somebody who actually opened that door by pressing that button through the wall by accident. They weren't trying to do it and they accidentally skipped the entire chapter. Oh, for God's sake, you're gonna be afraid now because there's headcrabs here, aren't you? Ugh. Okay, can you just come over here and do this for me, please? And then I'm gonna go and get the gas gun because I can need that. But no, you're not. You're coming with me. Okay. I'm gonna go get the uh, uh it's actually Gauss, isn't it? It should be pronounced Gauss, not Gauss. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure the guy's the guy's name that it, the word the word is actually based on is pronounced guy uh, Gauss, so anyway, point is I'm gonna get that gun because it's actually really important. But actually is it? Eh. Speed boosts are fun and all, but Uh, there's some energy in one of these rooms. I think it's this one. Yeah, there we go. There might be some more energy in one of these rooms, but I don't think there is. Yeah, no. I'm just gonna get out of there. How's going on the lighting? Oh yeah, I can't break that. Door opens and I will swap back over so that we can do that entire chapter but in sauce. Oh hey look, fence. Cool, I can just jump over it without having to jump onto the camel. <laughs> the jump height's broken, the game is stupid. He started shooting way sooner than he should. He normally doesn't shoot that, uh, shoot that early, I'm pretty sure. Oh. Oh, I have a gun yet. Thank you. Well, okay, they just turned around and died. Oh, hey, he followed me as well. Cool. Okay, yeah, you can just deal with that. I'm just gonna go this way. I mean, I'd like to point out um, that this this entire like Half-Life Sauce playthrough technically ended in the first chapter. I just remembered then what you call it um, because the the Barney that's supposed to let you through the door at the start of the game didn't open the door, so. Uh, well, actually, no, not the first chapter, the second chapter, but... Wait, why am I back here? Oh, crap. But yeah, the um, this whole playthrough technically shouldn't be possible, so... Wait, now this door's open? Okay. Right, well, I'm gonna have to... How did all of my shots miss that guy? Recoil is fun. Yeah, I'm just gonna kill all of these real quick so that I, have to, I don't have to deal with them later. Still have to deal with the SMG's like terrible recoil though. But whatever. It's fine. I really don't want to use the what you call it. That was a Half Life One explosion sprite. Am 
My god, this is... I, I hate this so much. That explosion does no damage, okay. Oh yeah, I, I, yeah. I actually have to do the laser thing, don't I, because... I'm dead. I'm not dead. Wow, I'm out of there. I am playing on easy now, yeah. Game's still really difficult, but... Why is that hallway there? <laughs> Okay. For the most part though, like, this isn't... Oh god. Like, honestly, Half-Life Source isn't awful. It's like, it's just there's a few... A few minor issue... Minor issues that kind of plague it. Like, it does what it sets out to do, which is to be Half-Life but on the Source engine. It's just that I didn't mean to do that. There we go. So this is the kind of groundbreaking puzzle that uh, Valve came up with in the year of 1999. Where you push a box underneath a thing and then do a thing and then it doesn't close and then it blows up a wall. That had no sound effect but whatever. Half-Life Source is great. But again, like, seriously, I feel as a Half-Life Source would be way better if the problems... Well, if the problems are fixed, of course it'd be way better. But it might actually be, like, a recommendable way of playing Half-Life if it wasn't so bad. I'm sure, like, there'd still be people who would recommend the best game, and I would prefer the best game ever. The fuck? I certainly hope you know what you're doing. Come on. But yeah, like there's some people who recommend the original Half Life, and I would too. But this is definitely like still a. This would be like an actually okay way of playing the game if the problems are fixed. An okay alternative, anyway. Is what I mean. So that's the chapter done. Do I have all the weapons that I should have? Yes. And don't kill me please, thank you. Oh, that's a health in them. I guess they don't. Uh... Okay. Also, those are br okay. Those are breaking way quicker in basic, base half life, gold sauce life. Okay, that was dangerously close, but I survived it, so whatever. I also want to make sure that I'm not stood on any of the like sloped edges here, because I will get stuck on the loading transition. I'm also going to go over there real quick. For the extra health, mostly. Just because I obviously took that huge fall and lost lots of health, but... Yeah, in my head, I'm expecting those, um... Those crates to take multiple swings to break, but they're not because it's not sauce. Speaking of which, let's go back to sauce real quick. Oh, 
Okay. See if anything that I just did can even slightly apply. That was no fall damage. Okay. So it's easier to slide down surfaces at least. That's a thing. I guess because the movement speed is just lower in general it's a bit easier. Fair enough. Seems reasonable. Means I have to spend way more time breaking these, huh? Wait, what did I just say? Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure the helicopter in this version is like impossible to kill as well. We'll find out, but like I'm I'm pretty sure like it just doesn't die, no matter what you do. Please go away, thank you. That's fine, I'm just gonna go this way, please. Okay. So this jump here is gonna be way easier than in... Actually, can I just make this jump from stood right next to it? Yeah. Basically, if it if something is at like eye level like this, then you can crouch jump onto it, which you can't do in the regular Half-Life, because that's actually slightly below eye level as well. And if something is even slightly above eye level, you can still do it. Like there, that's slightly above eye level, and I can probably still jump on top of that. Yeah. Oh crap! Ah! I did that wrong. I should have been paying attention to like the helicopter, not that, but... Uh, swap back. And let's finish up this area but in Half-Life 1. I should do another stream like that, uh, like this, but for Black Mesa. Actually, no, I shouldn't because I don't know how to play Black Mesa quickly at all. If I was to do this, but for Black Mesa, it would take hours. Like, just hours upon hours upon hours. That's, that's it. So just as another example of how the jumping is to- There was no mine there in- There was no mine there in- What you call it? Half my sauce. But yes, there you go, I can't crouch jump onto that, but I can jump from over here, like that. And I fell down the ladder. This ladder is like one of the most finicky ladders in the game, in my opinion. Like, I always fall off it by accident. Just without even trying to, it's just, it's such an awkward ladder. Hey look, it's this, this part. This classic part. Uh. Okay. So this is like one of the only areas in the game where you'll actually see me using the crossbow just because I like to use the crossbow here. But you can use it in those other places as well, it's just that I don't really tend to use it. How did that miss? So here's the uh, the helicopter encounter. Oh, well, that was the helicopter encounter. Um, <laughs> so that was that. Let's take a look at how that goes in Source then, because I'm guaranteeing you it's going to be completely different. And 100% worse. I mean, this looks way cooler at the very least, like... What?
Okay. Wait, where's the guy down there? There he is. I feel as though the crossbow is shooting faster, actually. I'm not sure if that's just me, but it seems like it is. Like, the ready time for it seems a little bit faster than in... Half-Life? Oh, there he is. But for... There we go. There we go. So here's the helicopter. Let's take a look at this encounter. There's one. That one went straight through it and did absolutely nothing. That one also went over it and did absolutely nothing again. Okay. I think that hit. I actually can't tell. I'm guaranteeing that this isn't going to work because I've... It's just going through it. It's not even like actually hitting it. It's just going straight through it. Like look at this. It's exploding on the skybox, not on the... I'm gonna wait. I'm just gonna wait for it to like stop moving and then I'll try and hit it. And we'll just see if it works. Probably won't, but I can always try at the very least. There it is. And I hit the skybox. Yeah, the laser's turned on, so... It, it still went straight through it. It, it's not hitting it. Oh my god. Okay, at this point I'm pretty convinced that this doesn't work. So... Great. This is this has gone from like a helicopter like boss fight to to uh, run from a helicopter while you climb up a cliff and then fall off it because movement is hard apparently. Ah, oh, come on. There we go. I didn't want to jump on top of it. Well, that was that, I guess. Meanwhile, back in Half-Life 1, it was way easier instead of having to deal with like climbing up there and being shot at the same time, I can just go at my own pace. Because the helicopter's dead. Also, let's just take a look at this. Yeah, so if I crouch jump here, I'm not jumping on top of the pipe like I'm in. Uh, and so I'm getting nowhere near the top of the pipe, actually. Like, I'm still quite a bit lower than the top. So yay for jumping. Jumping is a thing that you can do. Okay. Uh, see if I can not screw this up. I don't have any grenades, do I? Oh, whoops. Screw it, I'm just gonna go with it. I swear I pressed the button. Maybe I didn't. I don't have any grenades. Oh, SMG grenades either. Like, when I said grenades originally, I meant SMG grenades, but I don't have either, apparently. Oh. Well, I didn't have grenades, and now I do, so...
I'm probably gonna die here, how about I wouldn't... Okay. I was gonna say, like, if I died there, then that would've been a huge pen, but... Whoops, didn't mean to pull that out. Actually, is that loaded? Yeah, it is. Good. I wanna make sure... Pfft. Stop looking at me. Wait, what? Uh... <laughs> the hell just happened? I... I don't understand. Is there like a show pause command in this game or...? Wait, got it? Wait, what? Hold on, what is happening here? I can't hit that guy. What the hell just happened? It's like that guy's just made of stone or something. Well, I don't know what just happened, but the game's broken, so I'm gonna have to reload that. That's really weird though, what just happened? Yeah, the rockets are gonna have a nan origin and velocity, aren't they? Yeah. Multiple for just one rocket, that's interesting. Actually, there's no laser right- oh, the laser's there. Is there like a pause command? Oh. Because so I want to know where the game thinks I am right now. Like what location the game thinks I'm currently in. Uh Sure now. Net underscore graph. That's not what I'm looking for. Although the uh, the options for that command have been changed around in source, so that's interesting. Uh, I'm trying to figure out if there's actually a way of like figuring out where my position is right now because I'm really curious. But whatever, I'll just carry on and pretend that didn't happen. That's the wrong side. Okay. 
I wonder like if I can do that again though, if that was just like a freak thing or not. Because I've never seen that before. Ah, uh, come on. It's not happening again now. Did I just find something like really fucking weird? And then I didn't even save for future experimentation or something. I don't know how that happened. The because I was just stood on top of this, I'm pretty sure, and then it just kind of bugged and teleported me. I don't know why. Hmm. Okay. I'm just gonna carry on and hope that that like that isn't anything too major that just happened. In the meantime, back to Alpha's house. Because that that was really weird. I don't know why that happened. I'm gonna die here. Yeah, no, I can't just run for that like I did in Half-Life. That's gonna be way more difficult to do. Okay. Yeah, way more difficult to do. Incredibly difficult to do. Because I'm just gonna get, like, sniped the moment and my head peeks up. I killed that guy as well, uh Jesus Christ, can they stop please for one second? I can't do anything, I'm just getting killed. What? Where did you come from? I don't know, I'm fine, so it doesn't matter. But holy crap, that was that was weird. Okay. <sighs> okay. We're doing this, are we? I'm just gonna go over here then and just take all this health. And then not worry about it because if I have health from here then I don't have to worry about getting health from down there. I mean we're coming up on like the point in the game where we get infinite health anyway so. Oh yeah I already opened up. It's not even rotating. So this one doesn't even rotate if you're like too close to it. So I, w <clears throat> I really wonder why that happened in Half Life One then. Hey, this part, great. I'm just getting bashed on the head by falling rocks. Actually, these mines aren't a problem. 
These mines aren't a problem. See? What did I say? Oh yeah, the skybox in this level breaks, doesn't it? I forgot about that. Wait, was that already fallen? That really wasn't too big of a problem for me to like worry about doing that. Cool, skybox. My favourite type of skybox. This part is supposed to be difficult because you can't just... <laughs> okay, hold on. Hold on a second. That's fine, I'll just keep getting sniped. That didn't happen in Zoss. Yeah, I should probably kill those snipers. I mean, that's another thing, those snipers aren't as big of a problem in Zoss, so... Yeah, I'll just slowly fall down, just bit by bit. Just give me a second, I'll be there. First of all, that laser goes through in this one. Um, and secondly... I was crouched, don't you lie to me. Don't you lie to me. Don't there we go. And secondly, you're not supposed to be able to jump up there, which kind of destroys the challenge in this one. You know what else kind of destroys the challenge? Exactly the same problem. The hell? But yeah, it's like... That whole area is just kind of entirely defeated by... Don't jump at me, thank you. It's like, by just jumping on top of that barrel and that's basically it. I'm gonna try this. I've never actually done that before so I don't know if that actually works. Oh look at that, there's actually an invisible wall around the top of that it seems like. Because that doesn't seem to work. Oh no, no it did, it's just that I, I must have like missed the jump somehow. Point is, in that one it's a bit more difficult to jump over it than just jump on top of a thing and then I'm gonna die. Probably. That's an explosive crit! I shouldn't I shouldn't hit that one. I should probably stop blowing myself up as well. That would probably be a pretty good idea. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try and progress through here as quickly as I can before I get like blown up. Also, I'm gonna do that to kill that sniper and then... I think I'm fine. No, I think there's another guy in here, isn't there? Maybe there isn't. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm probably wrong. It's fine. I'm, I'm wrong about a few things, so... Yeah, let's just break this box on this shelf and oh there goes the entire shelf i love that so much it's just i don't know why that entire shelf is breakable but it is oh okay Oh, really? Okay, so now he decides he wants to kill me for shooting him in the back of the helmet. Okay. Well, 
Honestly, this room in Black Mesa annoys me a little bit as well, because it's like... The lockers is like the the ammo stuff is like laid out in a similar way, except there's just like rows of like lockers and stuff. But you actually have to jump to get some of the stuff, as opposed to in this way you can just run down the aisle and just pick up everything at once. It's a really minor thing, and it makes more sense in terms of like the way it looks visually. But I prefer just like running down a thing and just picking up loads of stuff at once because it feels so much better than just doing it the other way. But yeah, whatever. Make it look cooler, I guess, as opposed to... I don't know, it's like, I think that kind of looks cool, though. Like, just a room that was just rows upon rows of shelves laid with weapons. That looks pretty cool. It's not that great, obviously, because, you know, Half-Life 1 is... Terrible great. I just fell off that ledge as well by accident. That's not what I was supposed to do, but... Can I do this properly, please? Okay. There we go. I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay. This part's gonna be really difficult because I keep screwing it up. Well, not screwing it up, but I keep taking loads of damage. This area actually looks pretty different. Pretty different. Different. Um. What? Okay, so I was on, like, almost full health and now I'm not. Okay. Three- uh, th He just doesn't die. He just refuses to die. Right, so again I want to get out of here before I take too much damage. And... I especially want to get out of here before I take too much damage. Because that didn't kill it. Uh, but what? It's still alive. Is it still alive? I don't know. I hope not. Okay. Right, well that worked. So I don't really care too much as long as they're dead. Does this still break the entire shell? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Okay, we might live longer if we work together. There we go. Why does the crowbar do less damage in this? I don't get it. Oh, okay, I should reload that. Wait. Huh, okay. Yeah, I should probably make sure I'm like fully reloaded on everything before I leave actually. Okay. Looks good. Actually, I know that uh, in that. What the hell? Really? I know in this part here, actually, if you keep the guy alive, then you can just jump on top of his head and use him to just climb up that without solving any of the outside like, jumping stuff. I did an entire playthrough of Half-Life Source on the stream a while ago, but uh, the VOD's been lost to time, unfortunately. Doing it this way I think is probably going to be more interesting though, because this is both a playthrough of Half-Life and Half-Life Source at the same t At the same time. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to pretend that didn't happen. Uh, why was I going down there when I can just go up here? Uh, 
There's more of them. I know there's more of them. Well, that makes getting back a little bit easier anyway. I thought there were more of them. Come on. Oh, there's no like... Oh, the teleporting effect is still there, it's just not quite as noticeable for some reason. Wait, really? How thrilling, a turret section. Is that it? That must be it. Here we go. Is that all of them? Wait, this is supposed to be like a, a nest, right? Not just... Well, let's take a look. <laughs> let's take a look if that's supposed to be a nest or not. Oh, for God's sake. This is gonna be... Yeah, I can't do anything here because of the hive hands. Like, I'm on so low health that all I can do is try and avoid them. And then I can't because I'm just being shot at the entire time. Ah, uh, okay, I'm gonna have to actually kill them one by one. Please no. Please no, why are you still there? Why are you still there? I can't move, I can't move, I'm just getting- what am I even getting killed by now? Oh, the mar- This is nearly impossible because I've got like no health. Ah, oh, come on. Okay. I should probably reload before I go down there. Uh, there's one. There we go, there's like two more over there. They weren't there, like, in Sauce for some reason. Thank god there's health though, so... Turret section 2, electric boogaloo. Is that it? No, looks like it. I'm going to one just spawn, but... Oh crap, they've already... they've already appeared. So look at that, there's more of them there. Also, instead of just being the snacks, they are actually nests, like I said. Tarsa. Oh, one... <laughs> I didn't realise. 
Yeah, it's possible to jump through that before it gets shot out, which is actually kind of awkward to do because of the timing on it. It's not too difficult, but it's just that like sometimes the jump just refuses to work. Are we done yet? Is that everything? Probably. Well, let's go do that part in sauce then. Actually, I can't do that jump in sauce. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Well, this is like significantly less impactful. It just doesn't feel like quite as, like it's got as much punch to it. Like there's like no kick at all when I'm using it. As opposed to here where the screen shakes every time it fires and the explosion's huge, you know. Feels like it's got some weight behind it, but it doesn't there. Hey. Well, health is almost about to be the last of my problems, but uh I said almost, it's not quite the last of my problems yet. Please don't do that to me. I guess this is a silence weapon? I never actually knew that. They, they certainly don't seem to know that I'm there. <sighs> yeah, I hate this part a lot because depending on where you fall onto this box you can just die instantly. Would it be safe for me to fall onto the other box? Maybe. Probably, yeah. If I can fall from this side, from a nice low height. There we go, like that. Now I just need to not die, which is the difficult part. Oh, for God's sake, I actually died as well. Okay. Uh, I don't actually know if infinite health tile works in uh, sauce, but we'll find out. So well, there's a lot of things that I don't know if they actually work in sauce because I haven't played sauce enough to actually like verify that kind of thing myself, but. That worked. Okay. I want to make sure that guy's dead because he's going to be a problem later. I just realised, I said I need to make sure that guy's dead and I didn't do that in Half-Life, but whatever. I knew that was going to happen. He survived, are you kidding me? One more and he should be dead at least. That's annoying though, like I thought he would have, I thought that would have been like a headshot and he would have just died instantly but... Are you... <laughs> Mm. 
There we go. Now I've done it. Also, the satchel is actually still there for some reason. Okay. There we go. <sighs> okay. We're almost at the end of the game now, so... Yeah, no, come on, mate. Come with me if you want to live. Or I guess come with me and then keep me alive because I can't keep myself alive because I'm almost dead. Oh my god. Yeah, can you kill them for me? No, you're useless. Thanks. Oh crap, okay. See if this works. What are you doing? Why is he screaming like that? Okay, I'll show it this way. And then mark. I think it's working. I honestly can't tell. Is my health increasing or is it staying the same? Free. Yep. All that target range time is gonna pay off today. So it it doesn't work in this then. Is what I'm getting from this. Um, come on, what are you doing? I can still try it on this door, but I'm not sure if it'll work on this door either. I've got to go faster to do it. Uh, that's going to be really difficult to do, actually. Yeah, no, that's going to be super precise. Especially because of like how slow it opens, I can only get there. Free, so it doesn't work. Well, that's awkward. So infinite health door doesn't work on a uh, sauce, got ya. I'm dead. No, I'm not. Okay. There was no red light in source when that fire came overhead. There was no dynamic light at all, actually. It's kind of a bit of a disappointment. Please don't kill me. Please don't push me off. Okay. Okay, so I can at least infinite health star here. Hello. You wanna come with me? You wanna... That, you wanna come with me? There we go. Ah, uh, damn it. There we go. Open the door, come on. Okay. 
Okay. Well, I can do infinite health down here at least, so... Actually, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna save it there. Then I'm gonna go back to Sauce. I'm gonna play Sauce for a little bit more and then... I'll come back to the infinite health door uh, in a little bit. And then I'll blitz through the rest of the game. I think what I'll do is I'll play through this until we get to Lambda Core, maybe? And then on Lambda Core I'll go back. That didn't work. Move you up there, move you over there. Pull you back across. Did I mess that up? Yeah. No, don't fire again! Move the... No, I'm... I'm pressing the button, why isn't it working? Okay. Oh, damn it. I messed that up. Ah. 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 It's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm back here again. I'm fine. Everything's fine. There we go, that should be about right. No? There we go, okay. Actually, I should not even need that, I can just jump across like that. Okay, that was a nice bit of speed there, I actually got some speed up. Right, so this chapter is normally, yeah, a bit of a pain because uh, there's just loads of crap going on at once. I just took so much damage then. Okay, I need to, I need to actually kill these because they're just terrible. The hell? Why isn't that doing anything? The hell? Where'd you come from? Okay. So why isn't this working? Oh, that's why. I'll swap back over to- oh no! I'll, <laughs> I'll swap back over to like Half-Life at some point soon, but I wanna- actually well, Mm. I'll get to the end of this water section and then I'll sort back to Half-Life and that should be enough infinite health tar for the rest of the game, probably. Because it's pretty- oh for fuck's sake, are you kidding me? It's pretty unlikely that I'm gonna need any more health than what I've already gathered. Don't do that, no, please stop. Uh, 
Uh, a leech. It did nothing to me. Good. Oh. Well, that was marginally disappointing. I'm gonna die here. No, I'm not. Yeah, I am. Okay. Wait, what? Really? Okay, that fixes that problem at least. Uh, yeah, I can all that. Okay, that's where I'm going to stop with that for a minute. And I'm guessing that at some point that kind of just stopped working, so... Yeah, let's go. Uh, I don't know how much health I have right now, but it's probably not a whole lot. Those are in different places from in Half-Life Sauce. In Half-Life Sauce they were both right in front of the thing, but there they were sort of like hiding in different places. That's interesting. Are you going to come with me? Oh, there we go. So just for good measure, I'm going to get myself wedged in this door real quick as well, but not for as long as I will in the other one. Ah, oh, come on. That's actually kind of difficult to do. On this door especially, like, you have to be really quick with it. Ugh. There we go. So I'm going to leave it there for a brief amount of time. Like, let's, uh, 30 seconds and then I'll carry on. Is somebody going to walk in on me? Oh no, that's me walking. That's my walking sound. Uh, another sort of five seconds or so should be good enough. And I think we're about ready to go. So that's basically all I need for the rest of the game. Um, Well, I screwed that up, but it's fine. I can still get over this wall pretty quick. Then we just bash this invisible block and we'll be through in no time. <laughs> there we go. Got off a nice bit of speed there as well. Okay, so it's worth noting that apparently rocks falling on my head can still kill me. I am not immune to rocks to the face. But when it comes to pretty much everything else, I should be fine for the rest of the game now. See, that's instant in Half-Life 1, whereas in Sauce that was like... You had to actually wind it up for a bit. Okay, that's that's not great, but it'll do. Leeches? Really? Why do it have to be leeches? Hello. 
I wonder if this works. Hey! Seven trickers in office complex still works. Here, okay. So yeah, what I want to do here is fire this off a couple times and then get stuck on the tank. Actually, I don't really need to fire it off a couple times. I think the only reason I was going to fire it off a couple times was to try and kill anybody that was there, but there was nobody there, so... Close, please? There we go. Uh, this should be fine. Oh yeah, this isn't soft, I can't just jump up things like that. Yeah, how silly of me. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try and line up a grenade here. Don't know how well this is going to go, but... I got stuck on the thing, cool. Got stuck on the lamp. That's not really what I wanted, but... I'll try it again. That's what I wanted to do. So from here on out, Half-Life 1 is going to be way quicker than Sauce because we have infinite health, basically. But Also, we're now into... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, Lambda Complex? I think it's Lambda Complex, is what this chapter is. Okay. Yeah, this is Lambda Complex. So... I'm gonna do this part in Sauce now as well, just because of course I need to do this part in Sauce, but just still alive. Okay, let's see how this goes. I'm probably going to die here. Yeah, probably going to die here. Honestly, I'm surprised I didn't die to those two guys. I crossbowed them, didn't I? Are you... I was gonna say, are you kidding me? But. See if I can do this part pretty quick without dying, hopefully. Well, they're both dead, so. Lambda core. Should be able to just slide down, hopefully. There's the invisible wall, I guess, uh, invisible floor I got stuck on before. Hey, look at that, like I said, I can jump up that in sauce. And I instantly fell off because I'm stupid. There we go. So health is still a problem. In sauce right now, health is still a problem and it will be until the end of the game. But in Half-Life 1 it doesn't really matter too much. What I actually do at this point. Oh, hey, assassins. Cool. Uh, where am I supposed to go here? Oh, around here. Okay. Oh, great. More assassins. Cool. Well, almost at uh, Lambda Complex here as well, so that's not too bad. It's like doing it this way was definitely slower, but not really anything can be, uh, not really much can be done about that. Due to the nature of the game, it's going to be slower. Until 
I was sure you'd scoured the area. Come on. The last entrance to the land of Tampa. Every other has been sealed off to contain the invasion. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. Oh, there's a thingy here as well. Neat. Okay, so that's that then. Uh, land decor is coming up. And also a glue on gun. I just can't bring myself to use it on a living get shot in the head. Yeah, I can bring my, bring myself to use a gun on a person. Can you tell shoots man in face immediately after he complains about being unable to shoot things? Okay, so I'm trying to think here. Uh oh crap, it means falling the coolant. There might be a way... I said there might be a way. Um, depending on how the gauss gun works here... Okay, it doesn't work anywhere near how I was expecting it to. It still has like the push, but I don't think it has like... No, it doesn't have vertical push. Uh... Which is exactly how it works in Half Life 1, actually. That's not like a surprise, but. M, please. Thank you. Really? Do they just infinitely respawn in this room? I'm not. Okay. Uh, grenades. Right. I'm gonna give this a try. This probably isn't gonna work, but it might. And if it does, then that'll save a little bit of time, anyway. Wait, where's the ladder at? Okay, so the ladder's there. I'm gonna do this in Half-Life 1 as well, but obviously in Half-Life 1 it's less of a problem because I have uh, basically infinite health. Why is that happening? That is completely useless. That's not what I wanted. I just want a place like... Basically just a platform that I can just stand on. Like right there. Because I know I can stand on them. I did it in like what you call it. I did it in thingy. Really? I don't think that works here for some reason. I just completely avoided all explosion damage somehow, what the hell? Uh, okay, so where's the ladder at? The ladder's there, so if I want to explode, I want to do it right about here-ish. Yeah, basically. Yeah, that's not gonna work. I 
I want it to work. Will it work? Nope. I'm gonna have to do this the actual way then, because this isn't gonna work this way. Wow, what? A... Um. Oh. Cool. That's the source engine feature right there. Don't know why they used it there though, because it doesn't seem like it'll help much for optimization, but whatever you say, Valve, whatever you say. Uh, okay. In that case, what I need to do is I need to go do this at the actual way and then... Uh, probably die is... Yeah, that sounds about right. I'm just gonna get out of here. Oh yeah, I'm just going to get all the way out of here. That sounds reasonable. Please move. Why are you there? Okay, you're not there anymore. You're still there, but I kind of expected that. Makes sense that aliens cut up and doors. I mean, they don't really have, like, th thumbs, do they? So... Kinda need thumbs to do a lot of things. Uh, don't kill me. Oh yeah, should probably do that while I'm at it. And then get eaten by that. And then get eaten by that one because I can't see the tongues because the tongues are broken because sauce. Uh, okay. We're almost done. But how did he get out of there? Actually, I should probably check on the men in the station. Because there's ammo that I can get down here. And ammo is pretty good. Don't ah, there we go. And 99. 99? A little bit annoyed by that. Oh well, it could be could be worse, I guess. Could be lower. It's like 99 is almost 100. It's basically the same thing. 99, 100. What's the difference? Other than one. Because one is the difference. Oh, where'd the ladder go again, actually? I don't, I don't remember where this ladder is. There it is. Okay. Climb that. There we go. So now the rest of this area, actually the rest of this area is still going to be faster for um, for Half-Life 1 because infinite health off. Come on, please, get out of my way. Why can't I? There we go. Call level B. I was ready to get zapped then. I think this one's like part two, isn't it? Yeah, and then this one is part seven? 
Oh, far. Yeah, and the last one's part seven. Which is that one. Hey, I remembered a thing. Great. I played this game way too much. Okay, that was really good. And that's the end of that. It's like it doesn't even make sense for me to like just go full auto with the SMG because it'll just waste ammo. Because of like the recoil of it, it just it's so stupid. Right anyway, so now we're at Zen here. So let's let's see how this goes. So this is gonna be Lambda Car Infinite Health Tower Edition. Let me through you fucking idiot. Why am I taking Why am I taking uh energy? I don't know. I'm gonna take the gas gun though. Not gas guns, how cannon. Yeah, there you go. Have fun. Wait. Oh, okay. Oh, I can hear that guy getting killed by the head crabs, so uh, they're doing their job pretty good, at least. Okay. Why did I go down there? I need to stay up there. Is what I need to do. I need to set up here, and then I need to go around here, and then aux ta auxiliary tank. And then all the way down here to the reactor. And then from down here, do that so I don't drown to death. And then let's figure out where this thing is and see if this works, because it probably will work. Didn't work in source, but I think it works here. Yeah, it works here. Hmm, okay. This is actually going to be a little bit more difficult, I think. Yeah, this is, this is probably going to be a little bit more difficult than just... Okay, never mind, that might be high enough. Especially if I no, if I put it in that gap there it'll, it should be high enough. Probably. Yep, there you go. Where do I need to go? Up there. <sighs> I'm not getting high enough from that. Why is that not blasting me? Oh, because I'm doing it wrong. There we go. Uh, over here. That guy didn't even give, uh, even give me his warning that he's supposed to give me. Hello. Here we go. So that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> that's really not what I'm trying to do. Okay, I need to think this for a little bit better. Nope. Also, not what I wanted to do. If I blast myself up there, that didn't work. That's really not working. I think I need to like throw them a little bit that way instead. That's what I need to do, yeah. There we go. 
up there, and then where do I need to go now? Over there, okay. So that should be pretty... I was going to say that should be pretty easy, and then I blasted myself the wrong way, so... Really? I actually got up that... Ah, for... Okay, so... That's not what I wanted. I keep blasting myself down somehow. Uh, I think it's because I'm throwing it when I'm falling down, so like the grenade is blasting me downwards. That'll be why, yeah. Well, at the very least I'm over here now. Not sure how much help that's going to be, but... That's not- this is really not going how I want it to. Okay, where? And then here? There we go, that's what I was trying to do. That would have been faster if I just did it the normal way, I'll be honest. I screwed that up really badly though, like that could have been done way faster. So now we're at the lambda car here as well. Let me just unpause this one and then let that one play. I think I think the both are actually at the same place right now. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, um, while I'm waiting for this one, uh, rocket launcher. Great, thank you. And then. That's also flowing, but whatever. I'm gonna make sure all my weapons are reloaded before I do, uh, carry on. Uh, okay. That could do with being loaded. That could also do with being loaded as well. Okay. And then over here. Revolver needs loading on both of them actually. Uh, crossbow doesn't. Pistol doesn't. SMG doesn't. Okay. Cool, thank you. Yep, there you go. I'm very well versed. Thank you. Actually, I don't need to do that. So here what I'm going to do is just a, a small little thing, which shouldn't work, but it probably will. Neat, okay. Whoa. Skybox is like disappearing back there, but whatever. Okay, so that's then. Uh, now let's go do Zen on this side. Which is going to be more difficult because... I don't actually know if I can do the... Um... I don't know if the delay thing works on this one. I actually can't just climb up that either. Huh. Okay, so yeah, the the delay doesn't work on this one, so... Ah, oh, damn it. Hello. Yeah, it's hilarious supposed to be invisible walled off, but because of the enhanced jump height... Actually, you can probably do that in Half-Life 1 as well, to be honest, but... The enhanced jump height definitely helps make it possible in Sauce. All right, I 
can open the portal now. The process is complicated, and once it's begun, I must not be interrupted, or I will have to start all over again. Don't enter the beam until I give the okay. Understood? I will be... Yeah, sure. Oh, crap, what the hell? What am I jumping on top of? Oh, the invisible wall. That's what I'm jumping on top of. Oh, crap. That was bad. But yeah, so the invisible wall is apparently... This high, and you can jump on top of it. Great. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna move back a little bit. So yeah, I need to make sure that that guy doesn't die, and also I don't want to use too many bullets here, so I'm just gonna dance around if I can, but I will kill them if I need to. So I want to save like as much of everything as possible for uh, for Zen. Ah, uh, come on! Also, if that guy dies, then I think it's over as well, but they're not attacking him, so... Can I go now? Oh. That looks ready! He didn't give me the go-ahead, but <laughs> it, he looked ready enough, so... I'm gonna try and do this somewhat- oh crap, somewhat properly. Why did that make the fall damage sound when- ah! When it didn't actually take any fall damage. There we go. That time I took, <laughs> I took fall damage. Oh no. There's the Healy Pond. Good. I'm on full health, great. So, Zen is kind of crap. It's, it, honestly, like I don't know what why this part of the game is part of the game, but here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try something. A... Oh, okay. Damn it. Okay, that almost could have worked. And I said, I don't know what I'm trying to do. Like, what I could do is I could just walk off like that and then just land on that platform and then just go down there and then... Hey, look, I'm here. There's the pond. There's the thing. Can I just point out as well, like, this is the long jump in Half-Life. That was a pretty long jump. This is the long jump in... Sauce. It's still a pretty long jump, but it just feels slower. Like the rest of the game, just overall, just everything in this feels way slower than the, the regular, uh, regular game. Oh hey look, it's Testicle Monster. Cool. 
Uh, I'm trying to think. So, this should work. Did I give me a SMG grenades? Yeah, I did. Why is the decal black instead of like the splodge that it's supposed to be? Is that it? First first done? No. Okay, that has to be first phase done. Okay. I mean, if there's one thing that, uh, what you call it, is good for, it's, um, it's bunny hopping, uh, the long jump module. It's like honestly, I I really love the long jump module. Like it, like it gives you so much more versatility in terms of movement. I just kind of wish that you actually had it for like more more of the game, to be honest. I just wish more of the game was designed around like this kind of movement. Rather than the very end of the game in a place with very low gravity and what we call it. My image jug thingy thingy thingy. Bad level design, that's what I meant. It's like Half Life isn't a platformer. It shouldn't be a first person platformer. Also, I'm not gonna mention the fact that the um, bullet holes on this are concrete. I'm not gonna mention that. Like it, everyone can see it, it's it's just stupid. Okay, so let's see if this works. This is something that works in uh, normal Half-Life. I'm not sure if it's going to work here. So I think it's about here-ish. Yeah, it is. There it is. Worked. And then I died. Great. And then grenade that. And then grenade it again, and that should be it. Right? No, grenade it one more time. There we go. So, yeah, that hole in the floor normally opens when you kill the um, Gurnak, but. you can just grenade it open. Everything in this game which is supposed to like break open actually has health assigned to it so you can just blow it up and with explosives. And then that's the end of that level. <laughs> what a cool rock. And that's gone. Uh, I'm way too high. No, I'm not. I'm fine. Yeah, I'm gonna take fall damage here. Uh, this is bad. Uh, okay. So I'm gonna cut that off there, come back to Half-Life, and do everything I just did but in the original game. Except that it's gonna be a little bit different because there's some minor differences, but... Also I'm gonna use five grenades here on this first phase. I'm actually gonna wait a minute just to make sure that the health actually does start decreasing properly, but... two. 
three, four, five. Where's the? There it is. Oh, that only gives you four. Okay. Two, three. So our first phase is done now. So yeah, that's the splodge that's supposed to appear. It's like this white, this white splodge. Okay, that's that has to be first phase done now. Yeah, okay. There's an explosive over here, right? There's more explosives? No, okay, there's more explosives like somewhere else. There's some right there. So I can use another fog because I'm pretty sure there's a few more at least in this area. Uh, I think there's some more down here maybe? Maybe, I don't know. This isn't sauce, I can't just jump down that. Yeah, there's some mod on there. Then that's that done. Is that the next phase? Nice. So then, final phase isn't even a phase, it's just blow up the floor. As you can sort of see like the indent there where it's sort of like supposed to explode. There we go. And interloper. So I can't just go straight to the end actually because the game hits you if you do that and it just kills you off for some reason, so... I mean I can try it. it maybe if I do it with like one of the uh, super fancy what you magic delays it could work. Oh crap. Yeah, no. That's not gonna work. Unless like maybe I do like the uh, fast firing mode instead. Actually that could work. That, 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 that's the strategy. I've got to do that. That's the one. Okay. It's just gonna be the timing is difficult on it. Damn it. I'm gonna save it there. This could be a mistake, but I think it'll be fine. Okay, so when do I actually die? About here-ish? Yeah, about there-ish. So it's, it's like it's, this is literally just a case of getting the timing and then teleporting while dead into the floor. Where am I? Damn it! Okay, I think what I have to do is just like fire them slowly one at a time, maybe. Fire them despacito. I'm so sorry, I shouldn't have said that. I got through it again but while dead, uh, I'll just do it the normal way. It doesn't really make a difference like which way I do it as long as I get it done. There we go. So same place as thingy now. Uh, Half-Life Source, except that this one's gonna go way quicker because I don't have to worry about health. 
And even if I did have to worry about health, I could just jump for all this anywhere. And I would jump for all that anywhere. I only have six explosives here. That's a bit awkward. So we're coming up on like literally the end of the game now, like... It's actually kind of stupid. Wow, that just pushed me away and it loads of damage. I've been rejected. By a barrel, of all things. Ah, oh, come on. Okay. So that's that. Then there's this area, which is uh, a thing. We don't actually have to break any of those. Come on. So this is like the last area of. Uh, this, and then we're basically at the final boss. Um, so that's fun. I should just be able to grenade myself up into there. There we go. So this is the final portal and then we're at the end of the game, so I'm going to wait there and then return to Sauce. Whew. It's a bit, like, the thing is, I've nearly beaten both Half-Life Sauce and Half-Life and it's only taken, like, we've not even, we're not at four hours yet, it's gonna, probably going to take about four hours total, but I've almost beaten Half-Life twice in the same stream. I'm oh, almost dead. Uh, that's not good. At least that killed me. Okay. But yeah, I must be in Half-Life twice in the same stream. Um. In under four hours, which... To be honest, all things considered, it's pretty good. Okay, that's way higher than I was expecting. Then again, I was expecting like half-life height of jumping, so yeah, not really a surprise. Oh, come on. Actually, that's the thing. Yeah, in this one you can like long jump even, in, even when you're still crouching, which is not something you can do in half-life. Like if I were to go through here and then do that, I can long jump multiple times there in half-life. Uh, where am I being shot from? Literally everywhere. Yeah, this part is horrible because it's just... There's people everywhere. There's not really much you can do about it. Uh, okay. Oh, come on. Please die, thank you. Uh, where's the crossbow? There it is. Okay. So I probably want to find some health, which shouldn't be too big of a deal, but... It could be a, a bit of a problem if I can't find like a health pool or like health ridge anything in here. There will, there will be one, most likely, but oh my god, that was... Yeah, spinning around and trying to do that is really difficult, it turns out. Anything over here? There is there's all this stuff, but... Why is the health in here? Oh. Ah, hey, look, the screams of the damned, like we heard earlier. Cool. Oh, hey, my health. I actually need that, so... 
Should be sort of finish now. Although I'll take more health if it's offered to me because, you know, kind of low at the minute. Is that more? I think I saw some more there. Oh, for f okay. There we go. Okay. So now all I need to do is just get to the top of the tower without dying, probably. Which is kind of the hardest part. Oh no. Shooting these is so annoying when... Wait, did that just go back down again? Why did it go back down? How did I fall off? But yeah, like shooting those when it's spinning around is really difficult. Where are they? So that I can just do them now. There we go. There's what? Are you kidding me? That's fine. Uh, 90 hit. Yeah, that's fine. Could be worse. Could have, like, fallen down the hole and died, but... I'm just not going to move the mouse so that, as you know, I need to try and counter it. That's just way too, like, disorienting to look at. Okay. There's that. Take me to the top. I think there's going to be a few more Vortigons up here, but once they're dead it should be basically over. Actually, that's a health thing, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it is. Cool, just try and zap me when I'm in a health thing. Smart, smart alien. Oh, there's another one, what the hell? What the f- They weren't there five seconds ago. And also, they can block this from going up for some reason. Why? Why is that a thing? Okay, we're done. We're done. It's over. Here we are. What the hell? What the? Thank God you're get here. him out of there. Shut down the equipment and someone get him out. I've never heard this before. Thank God you're get here. Get him out of there. Jimmy. Shut down the equipment and someone get him out. I wasn't meant to do this in the first place. Hold on. Is that also in? Oh my god, it is in the original! It's just really quiet! Let me just turn that up so you, you can hear it a little better, but it is there! Never heard that before. That is fascinating to me. I'm gonna turn it up on this one as well. It wasn't meant to do this in the first place. Thank God you're getting out of there. Big day Shut down the equipment and someone get him out. I have never heard that before. That is really interesting to me. Okay, well that instantly just popped in. Cool. Why? Wait, why did that first one only take one rocket? They're supposed to take two. Do I have the laser turned on? Wait, what the hell? 
Wow, okay. Okay, please don't. Thank you. Oh, the... <sighs> don't do that. Really? Another one? Another one? No. Well that did absolutely nothing. Oh crap, there's another one. I didn't even see that it was there because fucking that's not what I wanted to do but sure screw it. Screw it whatever I'll, I'll go through one of these. Actually I could probably do with some more health so. Okay I could probably do with some more health not getting killed by three of these guys. Jesus Christ let me <laughs> Let me live, please. Ah, oh, come on, I'm jumping way too high. There we go. That sounds like a man hack from Half Life 2. That actually sounds like a lot like a man hack. What the hell? Uh, okay. Smooth. That's not what I wanted to do. Send me up, please. Beam me up, Scotty. Uh, okay. Some minor problems. It's fine. Nothing some snacks can't deal with. Uh, well, I'm dead, but. Um. Well, that did absolutely nothing. Cool. Oh crap. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanna get all, I wanna get all fifteen inside his head. Oh crap, that's actually it. Okay. Well there you go, there's there's the end of Half-Life Sauce, as seen from a, the eyes of a dead garden, I guess. So I'm gonna cut across now to Half-Life 1 again. That's one, two, yeah it takes two for these. Oh great, okay that worked out. 
Is that another one? Are you kidding me? Okay. A f three in a row? Is this some kind of sick practical joke? Well, um... Uh, I'm probably going to get portals, but... Never mind, I'm not going to get pulled. I am going to stand inside his head though, apparently. And that's that. So that's both endings, one where I survived and one where I died. Gordon Freeman in the flesh. Or rather, in the hazard. And that's Half-Life, basically. I the liberty of relieving you of your weapons. Most of them were government property. As for the suit... I'm gonna turn this up so that everyone can appreciate the high quality of voice acting. The border world, Zen, is in our control for the time being. Thanks to you. Quite a nasty piece of work you managed over there. I am impressed. That's why I'm here, Mr. Freeman. I have recommended your services to my employers. And they have authorized me to offer you a job. They agree with me that you have limitless potential. You've proved yourself a decisive man, so I don't expect you'll have any trouble deciding what to do. If you're interested, just step into the portal and I will take that as a yes. Otherwise, well, I can offer you a battle you have no chance of winning. Rather an anti-climax after what you've just survived. Wisely done, Mr. Freeman. I will see you up ahead. And that is Half-Life, basically. Yeah, that's, that's basically it. <laughs> uh, so that's the regular Half-Life, anyway. And now I will finish up with... Uh, sauce, because we still haven't finished Sauce. So I actually died here. Um, yeah, so I'm not quite sure how it's going to change the ending, but we'll see. I guess the way it changes the ending is by not giving us an ending at all. Because we're dead. So we just get to watch Nylumph just sort of freak out a bit and eject portals from his head for an eternity. Okay, let's try this again, but I actually want to um, not die this time. Are you kidding me? I died again. Ugh. Yeah, like, I'm fine with dying, like, at the same time as the tele- uh, the end game takes place, but... I don't want to die before that, is the thing.
Like, I don't want to die um, before that so that we can actually see the ending anywhere. There we go. Okay. So one explosive and I should die. I'm gonna try and time it so that like I kill myself at the same time as the level transitions takes place. Is what I'm gonna try and do. So that we can still get like, you know, the dead garden experience, but I guess it just doesn't transition. Oh. I saw some lightning there. Uh, still looking around trying to find it, but I can't find it. I can faintly hear him in the distance. In the heathered suit, I think. Sound the volume again, let's listen to that J Man end again. The liberty of relieving you of your weapons. Most of them were government property. As for the suit, I think you've earned it. But I'm dead. Uh, there's a sound in front of me, but I don't know what it is. There's like a kind of weird humming sound. Oh, is that actually like the first G-Man room? Because I think that's where he was speaking from. Well, I guess we're going to get the bad ending without even trying, so. Because we're kind of already dead, so we can't really step into the pole. Well, I, I guess that's it. Just kind of got teleported around in in the void for a bit while we were dead, and then the game ended. So that's half life. We survived with one life, and we died with the other, thus creating a half life. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Subject declined offer. Yeah, because we're dead. We can't really accept an offer if we're dead. Half life. Okay. It's not music. All I can hear is the humming of those rings. Right, well, that's. That's going to be it for the stream for tonight then. Um, this is probably going to be like the last actual like late night stream that I do, all things considered. I'm probably going to start doing more streams earlier in the day. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure how that's going to work out for America because I know quite a few of my views, are, uh, my viewers are in America. But we'll see, we'll see how that works out. Probably badly, but... Yeah, probably badly. Um... But yeah, so I, I want to do more stuff. I want to try more stuff. I want to try more games. I want to try... Just... I just want to try, you know? Obviously I'm going to keep doing Alpha Protocol runs like once a week. I'm going to keep doing other stuff every now and then. And... Yeah. That was... 
that was both Half-Life and Half-Life Source. So technically I beat Half-Life twice in about four hours. That's really not bad to be honest. I'm sure some people probably couldn't beat Half-Life in four hours once, so yeah, that's not too bad. Um, so thanks everyone for watching. I'll, I don't know when I'll be back. I'll be, but I don't know when I'll be back. My new schedule is going to be uh, the schedule underneath the stream. So whatever that schedule says, that's that's what it is. Uh, 8 p.m. Thursday, and I don't know what I'll play. I'll probably play like something. I'll play something. So, thank you for watching, and I will be back on then. I'll be back on then. <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. Oh yeah, actually I forgot, I repurposed one of my, um, what do you call it, I repurposed one of like the songs that I made for a series like two years ago so that I could use it as an outro song, but 